it, it don't even feel real for me, like sat here now, like looking, thinking I've done that. It's like it's someone else, not not me who's lived that. Why yeah. though? Why? Bro. Hello listeners and welcome back to another episode of the Beautiful Game Podcast. I'm your host Dot and I'm joined with my right hand man, Dej. What are you saying bro? Bro, I'm happy man. I'm gassed. I'm not going to lie. This is a guest that I've been trying to get contact of for a long, long time. <laughs> there's no social media. There's, there's no, no digital no. footprint. Mm, <laughs> so no imagine scene. I've been trying for like what, 12 to 18 months and imagine I'm speaking to one of my guys and there's like, oh, why don't you get Andre Wisdom on? And I was like, bro, I've been trying. <laughs> and I was like, what? Do you have a contact for him? He's like, oh yeah, take that. And I was like, wow. And obviously reached out to Dre. Um, I messaged him. Yeah, you, you called <laughs> First, me. yeah, I called. And, and then I did answer. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, who's this? Yeah. That was the message. Who's this? Who's this? That's how I responded. Who's this? Then so I that. sent a voice now. And then, then obviously and then, Dre, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, okay yeah, fuck okay. with this I fuck yeah, with yeah, this yeah 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 proper proper yeah, yeah proper. then Dre called back and said like, oh listen man's locked into the content like I listened to the Alex Iwobi <laughs> British Song Belonger yeah 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 I listened obviously to I listened to Jolien Lescott and I'm like what that was two years ago so yeah. this is a legacy listener you get yeah, me yeah, so yeah, yeah. love for rolling true my bro yeah, innit? No problem, and you've just man. been easy to deal with literally we spoke last Thursday you know like, oh next Friday calm minimal fuss or Bro, I really appreciate you running through, man. No, anytime, man, anytime. No, we appreciate it. Before we dive into it, um, I just want to plug our socials. Follow our Twitter at podcast underscore TBG. Dre's nodding his head and he's not yeah, on so socials. Follow that, follow that, <laughs> follow that. Follow everyone, follow it up. <laughs> at pod underscore TBG on Instagram and at TBG pod on TikTok. Before we get into it, I just want to say, bro, when you were breaking through at Liverpool, mm. I was thinking, wow, mm. what a what a prospect. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get into that. You sound like my uncle, you know. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Take us back to the humble beginnings, bro. Yeah, so basically I grew up in Leeds, Leeds and London, like a little bit bouncing back and forth. Um so yeah, but more more time it was in Leeds. And just, just playing football, just like any other you on the ends. My brethren, everyone used to just play football. And um, yeah, it's, it's simple. It's like everyone else's story as such. Um, just just loving football. I didn't want to do nothing else but kickball. I see enough man go down the different lanes in life. And mine was, I like playing football, so that's what I'm going to do. Early, early on, I was always big. What, oh, a ringer, basically. A That's ringer. What <laughs> I was always big, always big. And I knew that. So, like, I had to decide what what kind of, like, personality and attitude I want to, like, adopt for the rest of my life as such. Because, you know, when you're big, when you're young, you can get away with a lot of things. Mm. Okay. Say, imagine, like, you're 10, 11, 12, 13, you're the biggest, you weigh the most, you're the fastest, you're the strongest. Now, man my age couldn't couldn't check for me. <laughs> no no chance. Because mm, it's new. The new. Curtains. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I could have been soft. Mm. Man don't even know. Mm. Could have been, but no one had even blink. They'd be like, ah, yeah. if I say go shop, you go and shop. <laughs> for my age. And it's no disrespect to no yeah, one, yeah, but that's yeah. what it was. So I yeah. thought, hmm, what do I want to do with this? I said, you know what, let me just play football and just be polite to everyone and just right. cut through that way. So that's what I did, man. And big up my grandma, rest in peace, to where she just kind of guided me and patterned me in a way that had a routine. I didn't have to think about nothing else. Go to school to learn, you come home to play. And that's what man did. Yeah, because you're from, I think, mean, Chapelstown in Leeds. From Chapelstown, yeah. So, obviously, Micah Richards is another yeah, yeah, famous yeah, yeah, son yeah, yeah. from Micah, that side. And when Lennon. you sort of look at the 
profile is similar in terms of how you play like right back yeah yeah good going forward mm. physically strong mentally mm. strong and stuff like that but i wanted to talk about growing up on the ends you mentioned that some people went left mm. you know they took the road route basically yeah so did you have any sort of i don't know was there that trapping in terms of did you dabble in it should i say um <laughs> sure i did um nah i didn't need to I didn't need to. Like I said, I think a lot of people get into that type of lifestyle because they've got no routine and structure in the house. You see, when you grow up with rules, yeah, it's hard to do, to, to trap. It's hard. You know, when somebody cares about your well-being and, and what you've eaten today and you've got a time to be home, it's hard to do stuff. It's, it's hard. And I had a grandmother and uncles and parents that I couldn't really couldn't really do them things. Would I? Yes. Because, like, I'm a person that, like, I've got my own mind. No one can tell me nothing. But I didn't have to. I didn't have to. When I woke up, my nan made me breakfast. Yeah. Brother. <laughs> you know how much of a man them would love that lifestyle? Mm. They say, what, you grab me your breakfast? Oh, what, what, what kind of breakfast? Though? School clothes were ironed. Yeah. Wow, everything pattern. Yeah. Pattern, pattern. That was on it's like a holiday. It was, I swear <laughs> down, it was yeah, like yeah. a holiday as such. It's like a holiday. Yeah, we went through times where it was my no about hungry belly and no electric, no gas. <laughs> my no, you come on, it's done. It's done. But my nan did everything she could. I swear down. I swear we were like twins. Her birthday is the day after mine. It was wow. like we just we just clicked. I could go out. I had freedom. Could do stuff. It was just it was just nice. It was smooth. And all the while I was playing football, playing football. So yeah, that was it. Mm, so what about your parents? Because you mentioned your nan, and yeah. she seems to be very close. Like yeah, very in integral. Yeah. So how were your parents? Yeah, it was a it was a strange dynamic with my parents. Like obviously, I know both my mum and my dad. My dad was in London and Jamaica. My mum was in Leeds. But I'm very, I'm very. I've always known what I've wanted from like a young age. And I thought me in the environments that my mum or my dad was in, I wouldn't have flourished. So I, I decided from young, from about like nine, ten, that I want to go live with my grandma. So you decided that? Yeah, yeah, or did yeah. your parents sort of say, you know what? No, in the hood, like parents don't kind of like have them type of conversations, <laughs> to be quite honest. And it's bad, actually, it's bad. But I just was like, mm. first it starts off, let me go to my grandma's on the weekend. And it's like, oh, I don't really want to go back there. Why? Why was that? It's just there's a lot of things happening that I that don't sit well with me type of thing to, without getting too deep into it. Mm. So, yeah, I just made a decision from when I was young. I was like, no, nah, I want to stay here. No, no, can I? <laughs> right, you chat, you'd be my sportswoman then. Yeah. You get me? Because yeah. who can I tell? I'm nine, ten. And so she, she did that. And that was my setup. And obviously, I still had a great relationship with my parents. I still used to go down, go London, da da da. But the base was my grandma's house. So when you sit here today, what does your grandma mean to you? Um, she, like taught me to be a man, and it's mm. you know the cliches of women can't teach boys how to become men. But I kind of like I've got an argument for it. So yeah, she just taught me how to be a man, and yeah, it was just. It's just deep, just mm. deep. Yeah, she just gave me structure, like understand. She just made me like open my mind and 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 be real and honest and and work hard. Because mm, when when I speak to her, when I interact with you, I mm. see like old school traditional values that have gone out of society. Mm. If I'm being honest, yeah. you're a man of your word. Yeah, you've got integrity. Mm -hmm. What you say goes. Yeah, like, yeah. you committed to Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like maybe other people just cancel on the day or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. But can't, you're like, I can't operate like that. Y you know what's mad? I told Dej Andre Wisdom will be early. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know anything about you. Yeah. I just know the type of character, you bro. Know, you you know see I mean? time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see time. You don't it's, play with it. I don't, I don't no. play with it. You know, if you tell me a time, like I, I swear, if. By five past three, and I would say outside, and you lot weren't answering. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's real. It's real. It's real, <laughs> it's real bro. I'll be like five minutes, man. I got me wet. Yeah. Come on, phone, man. Yeah, my brick. I can't, can't operate like that. I just can't. I don't know what what it is. I don't know. You tell me three o'clock. I'm gonna be there early. 
don't play with my time because I'll leave. My man, all oh, my boys know, yo, we're going out this time. You swear, what time are you leaving? Seven. <laughs> I, go, I see, man. <laughs> so, brother, yeah, I'm going at seven, innit? <laughs> you coming with me? Be here at 6.45, basically. <laughs> no, I rate that, bro. <laughs> yeah, That's, man. That, those kind of things are gone out of society. Mm. But, um, yeah, man, like we've spoken a bit about your personal life. So we've got mm. a bit of a character on, on who you are, where you've come from, the stock yeah, you've yeah. come from. So let's go to the football in terms of breaking through at Bradford. Mm. Yeah. Obviously your name was ringing bells, you were dominating. Mm. And you sort of mentioned the fact that you used your physical gifts yeah, as yeah. an advantage. Yeah. So talk to us about that journey from, from Bradford into Liverpool. Into Liverpool, yeah. So Bradford was was good. I wasn't there long, but it was. I had a really good time. Good people. Good, good football club. And then I remember I got a trial for Liverpool, but it was very informal. Like, oh, do you fancy coming? I want you to come down and have a look, like train a few times and stuff like that. And obviously um, took the opportunity. So I went to Liverpool. And so all them physical attributes and all this, yeah, I'm bigger, stronger, faster. When I got to Liverpool, it didn't matter. Yeah. Cause big, strong, fast, the football moved quicker than any man I know. <laughs> So as I'm trying, I couldn't get close to people. Couldn't. I was thinking, what, what kind of football is this? I'm not used to this. So it was a, it was good. It was very good. And um, that transition, it, it was, it was, it was very made me th made me think a lot. Talking of like football wise, like oh, I need to change my game, and um, try adapt in a way that I'm gonna try get a contract. So yeah, that's what I did. Fortunately, and again, that probably comes from having like a structure at home and having routine and knowing kind of methods to implement a, a, the rewards. Yeah. Get me? And in terms of like adaption, because I was speaking to um, an assistant manager at a football club the other day and he was like, mm. sometimes when you see like a young player, that's like a genetic freak. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger than everyone, mm. stronger than mm -hmm. everyone. Sometimes it could be a disadvantage is, because yes. When everyone else gets physically strong, strong, you're lacking technically, for example. So how did you have to adapt your game? Yeah, um it was it was more so more so exactly that basically. Mm. It was okay, people are gonna catch up. So what do I need to do? I need to now start thinking more. I need to work on my first touch, work on my second touch, work on sh passing, shooting. Like basically everything. And them times at Liverpool. We used to do, we used to do some crazy training sessions. I remember because, because I was commuting from Leeds to Liverpool, so I was still in school. But I used to go to Liverpool two days during out of the week and then weekend. So I think I was I miss Monday Tuesday at school in Leeds, and then from Friday evening I'd go to Liverpool, stay Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday type of thing. But so I used to train with the under 16s, which which helped. I mean the under 18s. Cause they were scholars, and they used to like they used to do four sessions a day. I remember it was with um, David Amu. I'll tell you, yeah, I know you yeah, know David. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> used to do four sessions a day, and it was very technical, very very much so technical. Bro, I'm loving this convo so yeah, far. I can go it. in so many different different directions. ways, bro. But yeah, yeah, in terms of like your football career, so breaking through at Liverpool, yeah, you know, from academy prospect. Mm -hmm. To going up to train with the first team, Steven yeah. Gerrard, yeah, yeah. Carragher, that was mad, them yeah. man, Suarez, yeah, all mad, these men. Talk to us about that because I heard Peter Crouch on a podcast sort of saying that when new signings came into Liverpool, mm. and obviously let's say they had a baggy touch or yeah. things weren't going their way, <laughs> sort of Gerrard and Carragher could be a tough crowd. Yeah, I'll, for the uh, youngsters <laughs> coming up, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Gerrard. So like in, in my personal experience, other men could tell you different. I don't know. So in terms of like being a youngster coming through, that's yeah. a different dynamic because yeah, it's, you're the, part it's of a the different club. dynamic. Yeah. yeah. So how was that? Yeah, no, it was sick. It was sick. And when I when I came through, there was a, a couple of us. There was me, Flano, yeah. Flanagan, yeah. Jack Robinson, yeah. Yeah. Raheem, yeah. Suso, my guy Connor Cody. Yeah, what doing these things. Yeah. Though, yeah. yeah. Oh, He's an idiot, but I love him. <laughs> yeah, 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 I love, I love him. Does yeah. my head in. You know yeah. that one there? Yeah. But yeah. my brother, yeah. my guy, man. Yeah. But yeah, so there was a lot of us. So luckily we had like a little click within the first team with just ourselves. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, Yeah, how, how are Carragher and Gerard? Yeah, you? not to us. I, I, I think I can speak for all of us. 
was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Carragher was annoying. His <laughs> voice, it was loud. Scream at you, like, in during training and stuff like that. But it was, again, that's football. It was like constructive criticism and work on this and, and stuff. It was very, he's a very emotional football player. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? When he plays, he plays with his heart on his sleeve type of, like, you see it. You see him get ragged up and he's screaming at someone else and the, you see him and say, brother, he megged you. How, how can I help you stop getting megged? <laughs> or something like that. Do you know, like, certain things, but he's a very passionate man mm. and obviously he's a legend, but um, I don't think it was very, well, so much a tough crowd. I think that just comes down to, like, whoever's personality. You just need to take it. And you're in a room with, how many guys are in a change room? 25, man, in a, in a squad, say, in the changing room. Bro, we're all men. Yeah. What do men talk about? You'd like When you're chilling with your boys on a Saturday watching summer, at least three men are getting dubbed. Someone's going to get put... You know, like, there's, it's testosterone in a room. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, uh, what, what, which way? There's not many <laughs> angles it can... <laughs> If you got booked jeans on, you're getting yeah. cussed. If yeah. you if you come in and dressed in something uh, dodgy, you what you go on. Fuck. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? How what can mm. it do if you played crap in training and everyone witnessed? You're that, getting told. Isn't you're it? getting told. Mm. Mm. Or furthermore, it's Liverpool, bro. These things are like, everything's documented. If you went out the night before, it's gonna be in the paper. Mm. Yeah. Everyone's gonna know. Yeah. So, but how difficult was that coming through like, yeah. that spotlight, being at one of the biggest clubs in the world? I, I was I was fortunate because like the players who I just named, like of my of my age group, was, was better than man. They had Raheem, bro. Uslot didn't get no no nothing. He did everything. Was Raheem, Raheem, Raheem? Mm. Okay, when he so was you at kind Liverpool, of like, well, we he just was cut like through the back, opening the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was like he was at the front of the door. Yeah, that's not true. But my just behind him, chilling. No, no, I swear. That's yeah. why I have to take my hat off and the, the ultimate ratings. Because you know how much talkings he's had from media, from this, from that. Forget about what it's about. Well, for me anyway, I don't. It's none of my business. But it's took a lot over the years. Every like over. So, so what's your take on Raheem? Because I think he's had an amazing career I in terms of what he's achieved. achieved. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think obviously at Liverpool he done his thing. Done his thing. And he got his move to Manchester City. Yeah. And I remember in the press there was almost this narrative about the greedy boy from South yeah, London yeah. taking the cash. Yeah. Kind of thing. I, I, what, what was your thought on that, Brad? Like I said I just hope he's strong enough, which I knew he, he would have, to get through it. I don't even like to think about what other people think. Because then your brain goes, they're going mm. to a rabbit hole. So I'm like, why would someone else think that of him? Agreed. They don't know him. How? But if I start thinking about how that, I just think, nah, I hope you're good. Yeah. Well, you're good. Mm -hmm. When I see you, wow, wow, brother. Yeah. <laughs> man's blessed, fam. You sure? Yeah, man. I can't love. <laughs> I go left and you go right. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's me, bro. I, I don't know, but yeah, Rahimi took a lot of. He was a. Uh, he was. He was like. He was like the poster boy for criticism, basically. Poster boy for criticism, hundred percent, hundred percent, and not that he, he wanted that, <laughs> but he took it on the chin. So and, would he and, like and confide in the team? Like, oh, you see in the pro. Oh, no, I don't even think confide. It was just like it maybe come up in. I can't even remember anything specific, but maybe it come up in general conversation and and to my understanding and knowing the guy, you know what I'm saying? He, he took it on the chin and he got on, he turned up to training every single day and he he was, the, the man up there. I used to think, this little boy, <laughs> with no disrespect, obviously. Mm. How? Fing, fing, pyong. Up, down, strong, up. up. Yeah. Shoot, people say this, people say that. He don't care, suck his teeth. Keep playing. I used to think, you know what? Respect to that because is that like, the yard in him, yeah? The yard in him. It must. It must be. <laughs> Has to be. There's no other explanation. Yeah. The yard in him. Yeah. The yard in him. Or maybe that criticism don't mean nothing because yeah. the one in your house might mean more, or the one from your your boys might mm -hmm. mean something. Like me, I can't care what anybody else says. Do you know if you know me and you say something that's that hurts, ah, oh, bro, it's like I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. Like I remember one time when I was at Liverpool, played against Everton in the derby. Remember when Suarez scored and he did the dive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in front, in front of, of Moyes. Moyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother, all game I got twist up, left, right, left, right. Got twist up. 
<laughs> and I knew I'd got twist up. <laughs> well, who got, was twisting you up? Um, Morales. Ah, yeah. yeah. He was a tricky was a guy. Weird, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. he was weird. No skill, but yeah, just move the ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. swivel. Jinky, yeah. man. Yeah, he twisted me up for like 62 minutes, bro. I got brought off. I remember I sat down and I remember someone tapped me. I didn't even look back to see him. Like, Unlucky lad. I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and when I got home and I checked them time it was BBM or something probably yeah. I checked my phone and my best one of my best friends Jordan yeah. he was like yeah. yo bro you're good <laughs> but I heard it through the text I was like nah brother. yeah bro you had a man he was like, man but... yeah he, he, he twist you up in it <laughs> bro you know how upset I was <laughs> yeah. it hurt like in the in the in the solar, yeah. but in here. Yeah, maybe, I said, oh. yeah, but, yeah. but anyone else could say, you're rubbish, you did something mm. like, yeah, sweet, cheers. Mm. But because <laughs> no it's your boy, it's it had more boy. value. More yeah. value, yeah. That, that was my thing. So obviously you're breaking through. Mm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, the gaffer at the time was Brendan Rogers. Brendan Rogers, yeah. <sighs> For me, like probably one of the nicest guys that I've spoken to in football. I yeah. always share messages with him and Class. he's just a top guy. Class, yeah, 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 yeah. What, yeah. what was your experience with the gaffer? Yeah, it was really good. He like he kind of, I think I'm not sure. His son was he's probably got a son about man's Anton. age. Anton, yeah, Anton, yeah. I'm not sure if he's a bit older or a bit younger, but he's about man's age. So for me personally, and like us as when we was coming through, because um, there's a few of us, he could like kind of he knew how to like speak to us. Maybe with his experience with his son, like he just knew how to like get his message across to us, and obviously the rest of the players because. It was just un unlucky not to not to clinch the um, the league, but he knew how to like talk to us, and the football was really good. Got us playing football, man. Got us playing some good good football. Training was good, and it seemed it was fun. I really enjoyed it. It was fun, and again, it was like kind of just honest. I like people. Some managers are honest, and some, so he had that integrity. Uh, like yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It was it was kind of well from what I can remember. It was just always honest. You're okay, like Andre. You need to do better. I'm like, oh, okay. I like you. I like that. <laughs> it's real, isn't instead it? Of say, yeah, instead yeah. of not saying that, and then maybe you dropped, mm -hmm. and then people were like question. Not that I would. Me, I don't care. I go football, and that's it. You don't have to. Me and the manager don't even have to speak. <laughs> no, that's how I am. We no, don't. In we, the modern day, like we don't have to. Like, Some people, oh to... yeah, he dropped me and he didn't say. I'm just crying for bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fix yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm on the bench. I right, sit down the bench then. Mm. And warm up when the guy says go warm up. Mm. Proper professional. Yeah, yeah, play. The heck. When you get home, cuss then. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like, all your moves on the bench, you see, man. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They expect to play the next game after you just come like one kid on the bench. Mm. I don't get certain people's like mindset. I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. So, yeah, um, Brendan Rogers, is he like, he was just honest, you need to do better. You're not playing because of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is right as well because I knew I got I should have been tighter or I knew I should have this that the other. Like, we're not stupid, you know what I'm saying? So um yeah, Brendan Rodgers was really good. Mm, so in terms really of good. like that first season, you played like a lot of games, over ten games. Yeah, you know you played against Arsenal away. You had yeah, like, good, yeah, yeah, good yeah. games. You had like a good run in that team. So yeah, how was that like representing one of the big clubs? Because I said to you on the phone before as well, like people like you, Brendan, Gerard. Mm. We need to big you up as well because mm. I feel you laid the blueprint for the success that for Liverpool had under man. Klopp. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because before then, we were disenfranchised as fans. Yeah, yeah, it was peak. Yeah, in that world. Like, yeah, that people like, peak. yeah, bro, in, yeah. in school was, or whatever, people yeah, were like, like Liverpool, you, you yeah, bandit kids. <laughs> yeah. And you guys kind of put Liverpool on the map in terms of, oh, we're we challenging for the league again. Yeah, we're, There's we're some coming, respectability back to the coming true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, but it was sick. I think, it, it don't even feel real for me, like sat here now, like look at, thinking I've done that. It's like it's someone else, not not me who's lived that. Why yeah. that? Why? Bro, it just don't, it just don't feel real. Like, do you know like when you grow up, like how man grew up and stuff, and like when you leave the house and the things that you see, you don't expect to ever see mm. yourself okay. there. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You just you just don't like even I was in Leeds yesterday, and I was I, I was what I went kickboxing and then I thought oh let me go get some water from the shop, 
and I seen like a, um, excuse my my like description here. I seen a crackhead from from like years. He's just one of them guys known in the area. And I was like, rah, this guy's still there. He probably, he don't know nothing, but the, mm. this high road, do you mm. know what I mean? Smart. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's just where we come from. It's, it's just, you don't really see that often. You don't see that often at all. So yeah, it was, it was, it feels a bit surreal. Yeah. Even now, one, one couple months ago, I was watching like, Premier League years and you see and I seen one game when I was playing. I was like, oh raw, I had hair. Who's that? <laughs> see the afro there? Like, go on, I'm talking to myself, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, go on. That's you. Yeah. Playing against them man. You used to watch match of the day and you hear Gerard. Mm. Now, I'm not saying he's my brethren, but it's like, you know, like Stevie. Man don't even have to call him Gerard now. I can yeah. call him Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get yeah, me? Yeah. So it was sick. It was sick. Mm, so talk to us more about that season. You finished seventh. So how was it getting a run in the team? Like starting right back, coming yeah. in and out, getting your minutes, like yeah. getting your feet wet. So I think before I made my debut, I'd never played right back before. Never played right back before. But I remember um, Glenn Johnson, he didn't travel. So Ma Martin Kelly, I think, did he get a knock maybe? He might have got a knock or something like that. So I think on my debut, I wasn't even supposed to play as such. And then I think Martin he didn't feel well or got a knock or something. It was like, oh, Andre's playing then. And it was like, oh, right back. And them times, I was fast in it. So it was like, I can just, I'm mean, a defender, you quickish. It's not like putting someone slow at right back. Mm. It's like, it then changes the dynamic, you know what I'm saying? I was quick, it was like, Andre, stay there. Carragher's next to you, stay tight. You'll be sweet. Oh yeah, but I'll drop him to go in goal as well. I'll do the two jobs in the one, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, must, you want me to play? So yeah, I just played. And yeah, it just went well. And um, getting a run in the team, I was kind of fortunate at the same time because there's a few little knocks. Glenn Johnson, I don't think he was having the best time at Liverpool them times. But even though he's a good player, I used mm, to I get- I think he was coming under some fan criticism. Yeah, yeah, well. some fan, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know why. Mm, that was like one of those things that are fantastic attacker quote unquote terrible defender. defender that's yeah. what some people but it was a, it was a good defender in my eyes anyway mm. this is obviously like football's bit opinion in it unless the results are like terrible you know like player for player and and stuff like that um yeah i don't know why but yeah i was quite fortunate maybe he was coming on a bit of criticism um had a bit of a knock then i just kind of like slotted in and i think the first say like 10 15 games was just it was just gas yeah <laughs> It was gas. It was adrenaline. It was like, I'm freestyling. It was like I forgot how to play football. It was like I'd get the ball and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing go, <laughs> run, don't slide, jump, head. I'll put my head anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it was just gas. It was pure gas. And I think when the dust settled a bit, then I started to like, ooh, this is serious. Yeah. I'm starting to hear the crowd like, mm. Oh, I'm so what things are you hearing? Um, the chance, the you can feel like the the severity of the not severity, but you can you know the the pressure on this mm -hmm. specific game. Remember we played United and it was just like at Old Trafford. We lost two one, and it was just like walking out and then in that lineup, I'm like in the line and I'm like. I don't even know like how to even stand. I was just like, rah, this is this is deep. It was like <sighs> over oh, a football game. Yeah. Mm. It just felt it felt so it was crazy. It was crazy. But it was sick. So yeah, it was a lot of gas. And then I and then I went on loan. I think I needed that. So I don't know because obviously speaking to you now. You said you were lucky. You were yeah. So did you ever truly believe you were a Liverpool standard player? Yeah, no, for sure I did. Mm. For sure I did. I think I was I was fortunate with my the opportunity presented. But even if them people was all fit, eventually I would have played. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eventually somewhere. Yeah. For sure, I do believe that. I do believe. I do believe that. But again, I I weren't a right back. I don't think I was tall enough to be a centre back. So you're just stuck in between. Yeah, it was it? a, mm, and it's hard to put, a, especially with my age, it's hard to put a young guy. Like now it's different, but then, and this is like 10 years ago, it's hard to put a, 
a centre back in who's nineteen. So in terms of like coming through the discussion with Liverpool, like when you broke into the first team, mm. where the club sort of saying, you know what, Jamie, he's obviously going to be around for another few years. We see you like filling that mantle kind um, of thing, or did did you have that sort of discussion? I can't even remember. Yeah, on, on, honestly, I remember there was Jamie there. Even Cola was there. And everything, it was just like a, it was like a movie a bit. Like, I don't, I can't remember discussions even <laughs> happening. You know what you're saying? It was that discussion filled. I don't even yeah. know, bro. I was going training and it is what it is. Like, we're playing, <laughs> we a game. Who? We're traveling there. Excuse me. This is dope. Like, yeah, <laughs> we're going there. Yeah. I'm rolling. It was just one of them. It was, everything was just fun. Everything was fun. Everything was fun. That was it. I can't even remember like any conversation with managers. I can't even remember. I swear. So I don't know, but I just knew it was like, oh, Andre, you're playing right back. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I'm like, have you played right back before? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be good though. Yeah. Of course, brother. Of course, what do you mean? Right on, the, on the pitch, innit? Yeah. Kick ball, like. <laughs> Talk to me though. <laughs> <laughs> so how was Carol like playing? Yeah, we, see him, see. we see him as an uh, analysis yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's one of the best in terms of breaking Get down, down. Yeah, 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 talking yeah. about it. So sick. how was it like playing yeah. it, playing with him? It, it it was sick. It it was. It was it was very good. But it could be it could be annoying. It depends who we played. See, like if we're if we was the obvious better team, which was a lot of the time because we played for Liverpool. But when it was a tense game, man you Arsenal, um Whoever, Chelsea, I, I, pref- I want Skirtle next to me. Oh, okay, because okay. Carragher would just... Carragher, yeah. he'd chew my head up. <laughs> because he's... Which is... But it, it was sick. It was sick. It was sick. But I'd want Skirtle there because he was just cool. Like, he spoke my language, even though he's foreign, but he spoke mm, my... Calm. Yo, tight. All right, cool. Don't be screaming at me like I'm... You. Nah, I can't, I can't. we're going to clash then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm, so in terms of that second season, obviously I know you made two appearances, mm. then you went out on loan. So what was the like conversation with the club? Was Brendan sort of like, Andre, you're not going to get many opportunities here. Yeah, you I just think... signed Sacco, this and that. Yeah. So oh, it's probably yeah, yeah. better for your development or what? what yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how the conversation did go. And I think it was like, um, I think it was natural. I think some of the other lads went on loan as well. So that kind of, I wanted to, because I didn't really want someone to get too far ahead of me in the race of like, say like <coughs> experience wise and stuff. So I think maybe Jack Robbo, did Robbo go on loan? Maybe. But whatever it was, I just, I felt like it was the right decision, yeah. And yeah, I had a conversation saying, yeah, it'll be tough to get minutes, da da da. Obviously playing right back is not your natural position anyway. And X, Y, and Z. So yeah, and then I went, I went Derby on loan, yeah, mm. and that was and that was sick. Yeah, talk to us about that season because that ended yeah. in the playoff final. Playoff final, yeah. I remember that. I always remember that. Day. I think Zamora. Zamora, scored, yeah. yeah. Chief, <laughs> that was so bad. But so, that was a sick finish. But yeah. So talk to us about that season, getting that full experience of being a pro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what it was for playing every week in front of like every week. It was not just. You play one and then you miss two. It was like playing every week. It, it was it was sick. Team was sick. Everything about it. The manager we had Steve McLaren. It's funny. It's funny. We got on, but all the players were sick. Um, it was just it was good. They got a good fan base, and yeah, it was just we was on fire. We was on fire. But again, I was playing right back, and like the championship's different to the prem. So I had to like adapt again. So in in what way is this like technical? Cause I know back then there was a whole thing about the champ being physical. Yeah, long. the champ. It was it was a it was like a lot of running. It was it seemed <laughs> like it seemed like I was just doing a lot more. And I was like, but why? Because the stats didn't weren't that like far off mm. what I'd do. But it was like maybe because we didn't have the ball as much. I'm not sure. I don't even know the science of it. But it's maybe it's just in the mind. It was like, I come off after games and I'd be like, oh, I'm finished. Oh, we've got a game Tuesday again. Oh, yeah. oh and then, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, whoa, it was it was tough. It was tough. Up, down, up, down. A bit of basketball-ish. Um, but yeah, that season was, was class and we got to the to the final, obviously. And yeah, unfortunate error and good finish by Zamora. Yeah. So obviously... Um, Obviously, you lose in the playoffs. Like, mm. how, how difficult was that to take? Yeah, I think I was in a in in a 
diff- different situation because I was on mm-hmm. loan. Yeah. So I didn't really like feel it as much as some of the other players, mm-hmm. which is obvious. But it was still, it was still upsetting. And I mean, probably no one probably could have t- could guess that I was upset because you look at me, I just look like like I do now. But it was because it was like we worked hard, we worked hard, and it was everyone was together. It was good solidarity. The team, it was a really good team. Remember Chris Martin up front, Will Hughes, Jeff, Wardy, Johnny Russell, some six dorks, George. There was bear man, the bear, good good players, bear man, Samo, ah. There was some sick moments. What, that, Connor yeah. Salmon? I remember Connor the striker. Salmon. Yeah, Yo, like, this yeah. guy. <laughs> that skinny henchman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Tamo. How? In the, <coughs> take off his, his wham. Pause. <laughs> it's it, it sounded like, rah, you're, you're wham. But he used to work. Everyone was just on it. Everybody was was proper on it that season. And yeah, yeah just full shot. But that's football. That's yeah. football. Yeah, man. So obviously you banked up that experience. So the club obviously felt, you know what? You played well, you were consistent, yeah. your prem level. So that next season you went to, I believe, West Brom. Yeah, the season after that I went to West Brom. On loan. Yeah, on loan. So talk to us about that experience because you finished, I think, 13th. So for West Brom. That's yeah, that was good. Su- yeah, that was good. good success. Yeah. But I know your time, obviously, I think Alan Irvine was the manager Alan the Irvine, yeah. He he spoke more my language, like football-wise. Yeah, we're going to get on to something because there's been a theme in our yeah. last few podcasts <laughs> with a certain man called Tony Pugh. I know. <laughs> So, you know, for Cyrus Christie, well, Cyrus he was too that. short to be a right back. For Britta Sombolonga, he, just cast he was too, yeah, back. cast him as that. He was too short to be a striker. Mm. What was the problem with you? Um, I passed too much. Pardon? He, he, the way he wants to play football, it's effective, obviously, but with a certain like type of player, like players, you need a collective to play how he he plays. Like, like he's, he's probably more famous for his Stoke team. Yeah, yeah, that route yeah, yeah. one sort of that brand route of one, yeah, yeah. But like everyone in that team was like six one, six two <laughs> yeah. plus. Yeah. No one under six two, say. Mm. I don't think you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I come from I came from Liverpool, bro. And then obviously I was at Derby. Steve McLaren's a footballing manager, mm. loves passing out from the back, playing pass, move one touch, two touch. Pulis don't like that. I've never I'd never seen football like that up until up until him. I'm used to one touch, two touch from the keeper, split from. So did he tell you that? Listen, Andre, you passed too much. Yeah, he was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "What? That, what, else, what do you mean? What am I doing?" He's like, "You're playing it into midfield." Yeah, it's it's, it's, mm. it's there. It's turned. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> was, what do you mean? What's that? Do you know that one? Yeah. Yeah, but but it's not on. I get it if it's on. Obviously, I'm not. I'm being like realistic. Mm. I'm like, yeah, but he's not made the run yet. Yeah, nah, forget. Even if he don't do it, I'll <laughs> I'll tell him. I was like, what do you mean? But if you don't just give them the ball, then nah, I'll get on to him. So he's got his methods and fair play to him. He was a nice man. Yeah. With, well, with me anyway, I only speak for me. He's a nice man. Like, he was cool. But like, on the football pitch, like, just the football didn't really suit me. So I made a couple appearances here and there under him. But under Alan Irvine, it was, he wanted to play football. We say the right way, but I think that's a bit... Subjective. That's, that's subjective, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone's opinion. Whether, how they want to play play football and take on the game. But yeah, me and Pew, this football-wise, like, he's not. So I think after that season at Norwich, you go to Austria. Go to Austria, yeah. It's like I felt like rejuvenated when I yeah. went to Austria. Okay. Yeah. So was that kind was that, of yeah. like, you thinking that listen i'm in a weird headspace let me just get out yeah <laughs> yeah because like i said life life don't stop mm. so like life is you've got things are happening in your life with it so what so, kind of things for context yeah for like <laughs> this gal now involved. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's facts though brother you know what yeah, yeah. you're a gal is in it yeah, 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 and who knows knows things in it mm. so it's like you go in different places like now you got money. Yeah. How difficult is it to manage it? Because Gatlin is coming left, right, yeah, and centre. Yeah, yeah. like, I'm not saying it's difficult, mm. but it can get a lot. It's a lot because there's abundance of it. There's more. You've got more options. Mm. And you're a footballer one, which is just facts that like you're going to get attention f- just for being a footballer. And then, you know, man, them are like, you got peas, there's gal, there's money, you're driving, <laughs> all this, you can go out. You're the guy of your like circle. It's tough. It's tough. So life's happening all whilst you've got to maintain that, you know, by 
performing, performing on the pitch. Performing on the pitch and on on the pitch. So in the off season, you can you can get lost in that off season. It's a tough space. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know off season's tough. You're not a footballer anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but you live. You, you are, but you're not because you're not playing. But you're just on holiday. You're on holiday. Mm. Like I remember, who was it? One of my buddies like, fam, you go away for five the whole time. Like the game finishes at what say three, five in the in the evening. Mm. By nine, you're on a flight, and then you don't come back until the day before. You got to <laughs> report back to football. I'm like yeah, what am I gonna stay in here for? Mm. On holiday, I'm here, there, there, LA, Vegas, Atlanta. You're Chicago. doing the whole tour. There, go Panama, well tour. go New York, <laughs> scoop back here. Yeah, and because you got the funds and and the means to do so, it seems oh. I'm gonna do it, yeah. and you get you can get lost, brother. You can get lost you in get the source, isn't it? You yeah. can get lost. You you can. So, did you have anyone to like rein that in? Because you hear a lot of footballers oh, come out after one, it, yeah. after it's all said and done, no. and say, "Oh, you know what? I had my, bare my hangers on yeah. this and that. People no. that weren't really for me. They were no. sort of like, how was your circle? I just think them people who say that they've gotten. Where's your backbone? You're a man or a woman or and like tell them. Mm. If someone don't serve you, tell them you're not coming. What? Mm. Not rolling. Oh, yeah, you're gonna. Alright, say no more. You know, where I need to be by the time you finish your sentence. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I've never had no hangers on, no nothing. Me and my boys, we've argued with not physicals yet. That's what I'm saying. Still probably to come. <laughs> but we've argued, we've, we've taught, had conversations, but not one of my boys has, has been a hanger wrong or I felt like they've dragged me down or, or nothing like that. I think. Cause I tell them, yeah, I've, I, like like I have done in certain. They've told me certain time, oh, you're doing this too much, and like you always say, wise, wise man, see wise counsel in it. So you have to like listen. If your boy pulls you and says, ah, oh, you're doing this too much, then you need to ease up. Or if you tell your friend, oh, yo, you need to pull your weight a bit more, because I feel like this. He's got to listen. Like yeah. that's what a relationship is, yeah. a friendship. It's all relationships, isn't it? So, mm, so so talk to us more about that spell at Austria because you won the league, you won the cup. Yeah, that so was it. So on paper, that was like a successful spell. Yeah, it was, yeah, so, for sure. So how was that on the pitch? Because this Leipzig sort of model yeah. sort of gets a lot of adulation the, the now Red in terms Bull, of yeah. Red Bull Leipzig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Salzburg. Mm -hmm. Like they've got a good system where they yeah. funnel talent it's to sick, the big club. It's sick, it's so sick. how was that? Yeah, it was, it was unreal. I remember the opportunity came and then, I was like, Austria for football? <laughs> because I was very, I think I was very like so much, you know when you play in England, I think you only concentrate on England and then there's Champs League. And back then there was no real Austrian teams really yeah. on the radar as such, I would say. And I was like, Austria for football? I was like, okay. Hmm. But I just, cause, because my life was, it was a bit, it's a bit techie then. I just found, did I find out then that how do you, or in Austria. Mm, so in terms of like players you played with, like they've, as I said, they've got a model of success. Mm -hmm. Wang, who you played with. Yeah, he's yeah, at he won Chan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also Amadou Hadara, who's been linked with like Newcastle, so, Brighton. Yeah. How was he like to play with? Even Dio Oppermacano. Yeah, Dio. Yeah, yeah. How, how was he? Because he's sort of getting, he's yeah, this polarizing I, figure. Like people are saying he costs Bayern Munich. The yeah, Champions League, League yeah. kind of thing. So at that uh, time, what, what was he saying? Oh, it was class. All of them. Like I, it's 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 hard, man. It's it's very it's very hard to to speak on it as a player because you know how it gets as a player. There's some games where like your feet are just not doing what your brain says. <laughs> So some days, uh, yeah. or even like just in life, you could be walking down the street. Have you ever done that thing where you need a gives and <laughs> no one's touched you? You didn't <laughs> walk off a cut. That can happen on the pitch. Even me today, I'm <laughs> one of the biggest men. So I'm not gonna say it, but, it was but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just We're life. All human, all human. So, but Dio, oh, great player, athletic. His physical is is good on the ball. Mm -hmm good positional wise. It's just one of them things. Oh, and we say one game, it could be, people have a season. Some strikers go through all 20 games without scoring. Yeah. Some days that, it, it just happens, but, but we had some really good players, Chan Minamino, who went yeah. to Liverpool, who's just come back to Germany. So obviously you've been on loan um, four consecutive years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
after that final loan, did you almost think, you know what, my Liverpool career is probably over? Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, yeah, that would be the honest answer. But without even, at that time, I probably didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm honest. But me not thinking about it would probably be... That would be the answer. Not <laughs> yeah. thinking about it means it's done. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. So yeah, but I didn't think about it because I was playing and I still had years on my deal and stuff like that. I was still like secure across the board as such. Um, but yeah, and then I just wanted to go somewhere and I had a few offers because that season was really good. You know what, looking back in hindsight, and it's a good, it's, it's always nice to say, oh, I should have, I could have, I wish I did. But I probably wanted to, I wanted to stay, I wanted to stay there. That's, Salzburg? Uh, Salzburg, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, did you sure. have a concrete offer to stay there permanently? Yeah, I did, I did, I did. But I had a U, mm. and, and I was in England and I came back. I won't say just for that reason specifically, but it kind of like swayed my, my head and... But as, just, as I say, life don't stop. Whilst all these things are happening, Tough, I say yeah. these things, well, whilst football's happening and you're playing and you're trying and life don't stop. And I say, like, my life don't. And then because you're, you've, you've, you've got to where you are, you become s such a key figure in, in a lot of other people's lives. You know how much cousins have? Like, I'm called Andre Wisdom. Do you know how many wisdoms there is? <laughs> Listen here, mm -hmm. bruh. I've got... Me and my dad have kids the same age. Jeez. That's mad <laughs> thinking about it, I guess. That's mad. I've got a little brother who's two. Mm. A little sister who's seven. Do you wow. get me? Yeah. It's it's like there's so many and there's so like in Jamaica, in there, London, Birmingham. Yo, can this like <sighs> Life, it just don't stop. Mm -hmm. Phone's always peppering. I, my phone lives on do not disturb. That's why, I, like, even for instance, we joke about it. <laughs> Who's this? Because yeah. I don't know who. <laughs> it's another wisdom, yeah? It might, it might cost me uh, some peas to answer this phone call. <laughs> <laughs> you know it goes, though. Yeah, I like. yeah, nah, nah. Hey, bro. You know it goes. Mm. So, yeah. So, yeah, like, you make that transition back to Derby. You mm. spoke about it being, like, that's, like, your safe haven, the group yeah, of yeah, players Yeah, 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 for sure. It made sense. So, talk to us about that experience going back. Yeah, going back, it was really good, man. It was really good. Um, who did I go back and the manager? It was Gary Rowett that was the manager that I, that he, who signed me to go back to Derby. And that was good. That was good. It felt like, but, like, I never left type of thing. That's that's mad cheesy as well, but <laughs> that's mad. I don't even know what how that come out my mouth, but yeah, it was it, it it felt good, and there was a lot of players that were there from the season when I was there on loan, which, which say helped. But any team I've really gone to, I've kind of just cut through. I think the first day people don't know how to like approach me or thing because everyone thinks that I'm serious and because I'm big and like I just come. <laughs> You're right, yeah, all right, cool. I was like, oh. Like I can feel the energy, you know, like when they turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that goes. But after like two days and that, uh, I cut through the team easy because I'm, I'm just low maintenance. The physios don't really go in there. Don't I don't, don't take up much space. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm just in there to do a job. Come, I train, I work hard. No matter if I'm playing dead or not, I don't stop running, and I just try hard, and and um and go home so yeah any team i've gone to it's 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 been it's been pretty smooth sailing to be to be quite honest and going back to derby was, was just that mm, i wanted to talk about i know you spent a few seasons there mm. um your time under frank lampard <laughs> because like you hear people to alex awobi for instance yeah this guy saved and revitalized his career yeah I, then I, you speak to other people and it's sort of like if you're not in the team he doesn't communicate you're mm. almost like frozen out. what was your experience like yeah, my experience, it was weird. It was very, very weird. It didn't feel like I was at football. And I think what what kind of threw me was that the fact that it was Frank Lampard. Not that I was, I don't want you to misinterpret, like I was in awe, far from, far from. But I was like, yeah, I think I expected something that I wasn't that I wasn't getting. 
<laughs> like in what sense like go on uh, you're gonna have to unpack that one yeah bro. I'm trying to unpack it in my own head <laughs> and my head's big so it takes a while <laughs> so basically it's like yeah I just, I just expected more from him just as a, as a man yeah as a again yeah, like, yeah 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it like I'll basically let you like, land. I'll let you land yeah I don't think he's I don't think he was honest to the team collectively. And I mean, we had a good team as well. Mm. So it's easy when everything's going well. Like they got to the final, just lost against Villa. Um, but I think it was very like clicky. Um, it was very like, it felt like there was a bit of people like spot behind people's backs. Yeah, that season just weren't very good. Yeah, because I know before the season started, there was three lone players brought in. Fikayo Tomori. Yeah, class. Harry Wilson. Class. Lisa Mount. Class. Obviously, we've seen what he's gone to do. Yeah, yeah. So, was it almost like he's brought his own boys in? Yeah. The old sort of energy that was built up mm. has kind of been lost. Yeah, it's kind of been lost. Yeah, kind of been lost. And, and if it's trying to come back, you, you'll, be punished, you'll be punished for it type of thing. Like, I remember the pre-season. Um, some of the lads on one of the last night, I think, did they go out or some something like that, or came back late or something, and then like the next day we was all running for it, and I understand like the the message, but it just felt it just felt very like negative. And like I said, I've only I've had one manager like scream at me, and it was Lampard, and I didn't react. But that's what I was saying. Like, so what what was it about? What was the incident? um? We got smashed by Aston Villa four nil, I think. Four nil, I think. And I said some comments after the game and then it just went in. But it was nothing to do really with football. It was more about me as a person, which was very like, very strange to me. And because he said some things that like, um, were just very strange, very strange. Do you know like, for instance, when someone says, I'm not scared of you, Ah, mm. uh, that just strange. That, yeah, yeah, that's like, weird. Like, so is that yeah. what I said? Yeah. Okay, because you've got that aura that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 but but but. <laughs> he mm. said I walk slow. He said some said some things. He said I'm a bu- uh, I bully people. That's and, strange. And like anybody you could ask, if you was to ask anyone, and I know, and it's, it might sound a bit egotistical. What I'm gonna say now, nah. they'll say no. Nah, Andre is cool. Never once even raised my voice at man. <laughs> a bully. <laughs> Don't play with me. Do not. Don't. But Bali is, is different. Don't play with me. I'll talk to you by yourself. Oh, brother, can I chat to you? Let's go over there. Yeah, yeah, come, come. And then, listen me up. <laughs> That's my type of... But in front of people, why am I going to do that, bro? Because yeah. you're going to react because it's in front of people. <coughs> now we've got a problem. No, let's go. Yeah, brother, come. You want to go shop? Yeah, yeah. When we're in the shop, listen me <laughs> See, it's only us two. Thank you. I'm gonna mash you up. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I'm not all the things that he said. So it was weird. So yeah, I just felt really like, like as a player, done. Yeah, yeah, one of the great done. midfielders. Yeah. Of Slap goals left, that, yeah. right, bing, bang, bing. But like, yeah, it's just not for me. So like, what are you surprised to see him like as the Chelsea manager now? Um, no, there was a not lot if, of not sort even of that discourse about obviously his time yeah. at Everton yeah. then obviously I understand why he's been given the job in terms mm-hmm. of being a club legend yeah, yeah, let's yeah, get yeah. this team to team the end team, of the yeah. season everything sort yeah, of yeah. Yeah. no I'm not surprised that, like I'll never dislike his job is his job like that's for him and I don't know like all the best to him I don't yeah. like have no bad vibes to him but I think if he was sat here would I speak to him nah like, I just don't really I just didn't really rate him or, or what's the other brother called Paul Clement, Ashley Cole, nah. they were. No, nah, Ash was all, Ash was all right. Mm. Cody Morris. That's, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They didn't really rate him. Just probably not my type of people. Like on a night out, I'd probably get into a fight with them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Nah. Just, just, so, just, just not for me. And it's like it's mad when you say that because it's like in football, it's like, oh, don't say not about Frank Lampard. Don't say not about Gerard. Why would you? They're legends of England. Don't say not about Rooney. I think Rooney is probably different because it's like a scapegoat for, for like English people, mm-hmm. like in football. Lightning rod for criticism. Yeah, for criticism. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Rooney's like is different. So I don't even put Rooney in that category, mm-hmm. even though. But he's the best one for me anyway. Okay. But yeah, but you know, like you can't talk about certain people. Mm-hmm. Like if you were to say something about. If you're probably presenting, if you say something about Gary Neville or Carragher, you probably no, get cancelled. Get cancelled. Yeah, 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 that's the word. Cancelled. Yeah. yeah. Don't talk about them. No, <clears throat> don't want to work with you. Yeah. Why? Because they know him and the so free. Yeah, it's long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So without being disrespectful to anybody, no. 
as players class, but for me as a manager, I just didn't really. Mm. You didn't, didn't click. It, yeah, it, didn't, it didn't click. Yeah. It didn't click. And it, yeah, of course it happens. It didn't click. And I've had other managers um, being in the team, being out the team. And we've just seemed to have a, a mutual respect for each other. I think it was probably respect for each other. I don't think we did. We didn't really see eye to eye, I don't I don't think. I wanted to talk about your time. Obviously, Derby, Philip Koku came in. Yeah, Philip Koku. And again, there was um, an incident. Yeah. 2020, where unfortunately mm. you got stabbed. Yeah. And I think when it happened in the news, everyone's like, rah, what's happened? Like, mm. kind of thing. And obviously we found out that a few crazed individuals, <laughs> yeah. you know, stabbed you. So like, if you don't mind mm -hmm. talking to us about that incident, what happened? Yeah, so I was, I was at a place where I shouldn't have been. That's what happened. At a party where I shouldn't have been. But I think maybe that time of year, because it was locked down, I think I was a bit like eager mm -hmm. to just be outside a bit without doing too much. It weren't. So yeah, it was like a house party. Then when I was leaving, yeah, like five guys by the club his knives said, give me a watch. And I said, no. So well, what else happened? Start fighting. And yeah, that was it. I drove home after the incident. Then when I've got home, after I've been driving home, I've realized I've been stabbed multiple times. And yeah, as as crazy as it was, it was very like simple. Went to a party, was going home. Some guys run. I didn't have time to run. Stabbed me up. I drove home. So were you by yourself then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was going home by myself. I drove home by myself. Loads of people have come out to the party after like five minutes of fighting, like wrestling, tugging, whatever. Um, they've run off. I'm covered in blood in the street. I'm just like, fuck's sake. Excuse my French. Gone home. And then, yeah, I rung the ambulance from my house. And yeah, I don't even know how like, it didn't, they even like knew. I was like, Wow, everybody knows. Yeah, my phone just started just, just belling off. How, what you been stabbed? I was like, how do you know? Yeah. And yeah, it was just like that. But the thing about that, it was it was, it was was frustrating because when I've come out of hospital after like two, three days, had a couple operations, it was like my body just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. Try to get back into football wasn't the same. I wasn't getting the same output from like power or speed or, and stuff like that. So yeah, it was very frustrating. So that's why to this day I've been playing. So in terms of like, there's so many layers to this. There's the mental, there's the mm. physical, because again, as a footballer, your leg is your tool. Yeah, that's yeah. how you earn a living. Yeah. And obviously it was in your buttock, which is yeah, yeah, your both leg, sides. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because both. your legs, that's where you get the explosion, <laughs> the power, yeah, the squats, yeah, yeah. the deadlift, whatever. Yeah. So like, how was that? It was, um, it was weird. My left side is worse than my right side. Um, but yeah, it was, what did they say? It's like severe nerve damage in my left side. And then my right side, it, it wasn't, wasn't as bad. Um, yeah, it's just, I just weren't getting the same output, like speed and power. So yeah, it was hard to take. And then with that comes a lot of other little niggles and stuff like that. So they're all interconnected. Everything's connected, mm. yeah. Like I got stubbed in my head, I got headaches, like a little cut here. Like I couldn't breathe good after I, I, I come out of hospital because I had um, like fluid on my lungs. So just a lot of like, like little things. And I, I think I rushed coming back to football because that's all I knew. I just wanted to get out of the house type of thing. So once I could walk, which was only about two weeks, three weeks, I think. I went straight back into football, slowly on the bike, slowly. And then now, like, and I'm, as men, like, you get ahead of us. We get ahead of ourselves. You know, if you get an injury and you feel a bit better, you're like, oh, if I could, well, let it's me try. It's machoism. That, yeah, of, let me try just do mm. this. Then. Oh, well, that doesn't hurt. Let me try to do this. I think that's what I did. And one thing let, built up, built up. Then I played, like, two games maybe, and I knew I weren't right. I think my ego just didn't allow me to accept <coughs> it and say, you know what? And it was the last year of my contract and mm -hmm. Derby was going through the, the financial, financials type yeah. of stuff. So in my brain, I was, I was, I remember speaking to my agent at the time. I was like, I'm just going to play. So like, so I'm in the shop window. Do you know what I'm saying? And then hopefully I can get, and then in the summer I can rest. Hopefully that'd be the plan. And it's like, yeah. And then, 
I, I ripped my groin. Yeah. But but the thing is, like, I don't even look at it like, it's just like, this is life. These, mm. like, things happen, innit? It's like, okay, this has happened. What are you going to do about it? Okay, so I went away, fixed my body. I came back and my body still wasn't fixed because as much as, like I've rested and healed. Now I've got to do strength work, this, that, the other. And I came back and I went straight back into football, training with a few people. And I just wasn't, I wasn't ready. My body was healed and I was fit and f like fit as, as, as a human and mm -hmm. fit. But I wasn't no, football, football fit. fit yeah. So but with this, there's so many layers. I want to talk about mm. you as an individual, yeah. uh, a human being, mm. being stabbed. Yeah. Like in terms of the mental dynamic, because I think that's a lot of maybe high profile people's fear that they'll be targeted mm. because of who they are, what yeah, yeah, they yeah. have. And like, what's your feelings towards the situation? Um, I don't have no feelings no, no more. I think I was angry at myself before. Now I've let that go. I think people are going to be people, whoever it is. Like expect a dog to bite you. When you go to the hood, you know these things are possible. When you go... Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know where you're going, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, as an adult, we, well, we should anyway. <laughs> Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Be yeah. careful. Be on your P's and Q's everywhere you go. 100. Even when I came here, I made sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scoping yeah, yeah. the building. Scope. Is yeah, calm, like, yeah. okay, it's cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, without doing too much. You don't want to, like... Be a power. Be power yeah, 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 without doing too much. You know what I'm saying? I went coming here, on no ninja vibe, but... So, yeah. Um, but I was angry at myself because I knew I shouldn't have been there. Mm. And I knew, like, I should have been more... Savvy more with more thing. quick with it you know what i'm saying where i've come from i've managed to escape and dodge like i've heard gunshot go up in party before mm -hmm. i've heard this i've seen that I've seen people stabbed up in the street before I've seen a lot of things a lot of examples of okay how to maneuver in this life of ours especially with the climate it is with these knife crime with with gun crime in in these in in the hood Mm. So, so even in talking about that, what happened to the people that done it? Because we've just heard the news that mm. Andre Wisdom stabbed footballer in hospital. Yeah, I'm not even in sure. Stable condition. I'm not even Have you heard any sort of correspondence from from the police in terms of what no. actually happened to them? No, I didn't have much to tell the police. I say much. I didn't tell the police nothing. What can I? I can't, I can't really can't really tell them anything. Can't tell the police anything that I don't know. So yeah. The police. Oh, were they asking you for that like, information? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I don't have no information. I'm like, we live in the. So what you knew? Do you, so do you know the faces of the people that? No, they had balaclavas on. Like I said, I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't tell them anything. Mm. Like, oh, who was it? I don't know. What did they look like? They had balaclavas on. I'm not sure. I think we live uh, in England, one of the most camera places on planet Earth. You lot do, do your, your job. job basically. Asking me to help you. I don't know. <laughs> you lot should help me. Yeah. Come out my hospital room and leave me alone. Let me heal. Basically, I don't even get the whole process of you're in a hospital bed and you've got a, a stranger talking to you, asking you questions about the trauma you've just been through. Luckily, that I'm, I'm cool, like mentally, but I don't, I don't get that. I want, I asked the woman that as well. I was like, and you're a woman in my hotel room. I've got no clothes on underneath this. What kind of this like police etiquette? And she was like, "Oh, I've never been asked that before." I was like, "You know what? <laughs> this is a sort of mad." I ask like challenging questions to people. You know what I'm saying I feel like the police need to up their job for for other people who are maybe not as mentally strong. Going in there, seeing someone in the most vulnerable position they've mm. potentially ever been in, and you're saying, "Oh, what did they look like? How big was the knife?" Bringing up all that, um, yeah. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro yeah. like, obviously, Dej mentioned the physical trauma. Mm. <sighs> obviously, it seems like you're in a great place now, and I, and I love yeah. it. But talk to us about the mental trauma that you had to go through, because, bro, um, that must have been tough. Yeah, nah, it was more... I think everybody's got traumas from different stuff, if you've been through something traumatic. But I don't know, I think it was how I was brought up. Because maybe see, and I'm a bit desensitized to certain things. I won't say desensitized, but do you know, like, oh, someone got stabbed. To somebody that has never seen a stabbing before, it it seems a lot more to the person if they have like experienced that before. If that made sense. It's just I come from a place where these things weren't that, not that, not ordinary. These things happened. Like like I said, you go to bed. I've heard gunshot. Yeah. I've seen people stabbed. I see these things. See people fight until 
the heads bust open. Yeah. I've seen all of these things. So all the blood and gory type stuff doesn't really like mess me up. It just made me move a bit more more vigilant and watch people. Be careful of who you surround yourself with because not everybody's got the best intentions for you. So did you ever have like anxiety after that period where you're like, where am I? Like, um, where do I need to go? Should I go around? No, nah, probably, probably the only thing that it affected me with was sleep. In terms of lack, of lack of or not getting to sleep, like it messed with it messed with my sleep. I couldn't really like fully settle. So I guess that's part of like anxiety type of. Mm. Maybe it could be a part of it, but yeah, I couldn't really sleep overnight, or I'd always I'd wake up a lot of times during the night. Why is that? Was that like paranoia? Like yeah, po- of- possibly. I'm not even sure. I can't even like diagnose it. And I. I remember when I was at Derby, they said, do you want to speak to someone? And I was like, about what? And it was like, well, what's just happened? But I said, no. But I did anyway to tick a box. And I didn't really get much from it. Okay, but in that experience, because people talk about therapy, maybe mm-hmm. you only get out what you put in. What you put what, in, yeah. Were you sort of like open about their thing? Yeah. Or were you like, guardy? Because I know you on yeah, 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 you yeah. are like straight as a book. No, nothing, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> like, nothing, yeah. I'm sleeping well. I'm getting my nine hours. So, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Like, what? Like, what is guarded? I always... See my girl, yeah, she says, you've always got an answer for stuff. I'm like, because there always is. <laughs> yeah. I say there always is an answer, though. Yeah. See, either the truth or it's the lie. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. So I always say there's always an answer. So when the, when I was doing, like, the, the therapy thing, they'd ask me stuff and I'd answer it. And they're like, are you being honest? And I'm like, yeah. But they don't know if I am or not. Only I do. Mm. Now... I kind of like took the person on a, like a little swings and roundabouts type of thing. So, cause I just didn't feel like it was, would have helped anything. I wasn't trying to unpack. I knew everything that I'd been through. I'd been stabbed. This is what happened. Okay. It's okay to be sad. It's okay if you're feeling like this. I knew all of them things were okay if I was feeling upset, sad, paranoid, and anxious, but I'm not. Now what? Now am I guarding these emotions? No, because I'm not, I just don't feel it. Mm. I didn't. I don't know yeah. how to now feel something because it's okay to feel like that because of what's happened. So I'm like, no, I feel cool. Nah, Andre, you sure? And now people want to, oh, you sure? Whoa, whoa, don't project your yeah. upset on, nah, mm. I'm good. Yeah, my head looks all, I look like the brother of Star Trek. You know, remember that old school brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look like Star Trek and I walk a bit penguiny because of my stab wounds and whatnot, but I'm good as good as can be anyway but mentally I was okay so yeah I just get on with things man like I'm here I always say I've got little money in my pocket got one two girl that like me got this there family's high got little food little jerk chicken in the other <laughs> I just can cut you I like yeah, 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 all yeah. the extras is extra it's yeah. perspective perspective yeah and, and I remember you came back to Derby I saw one of your interviews that you just like brushed off the incident yeah 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 it was very like stoic like yeah, yeah. it happened obviously I'm back now yeah you're feeling good yeah etc and you ended up finishing that season I believe yeah I finished that se- did I finish that season I think so. I was think that that's the, the season, season the that, Great Escape, like with Yeah, I think so. That yeah, that's great. when I, but that's when I did my groin, so I missed about say, maybe two, three games. Yeah. So you yeah. played I think thirty eight games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I missed a couple of games at the end. Yeah. So you, you came back and obviously you said you weren't getting that output. And yeah, from my body, yeah. So so that was purely a physical thing? Yeah, for sure. It was a physical thing, mm. for sure. So was it on the test? Like, oh, rah, we, Andre, you're, you were posting up these numbers. Numbers, and now you're just not. Like, even I felt a bit weak. I just, my legs just felt weaker. Yeah, just, just black and white. Yeah, my legs felt weaker. Mm. And that was it. And um, and that was it. Like, I was, my speed wasn't, I couldn't get as much power to, like, start. Turning felt more difficult. And X, Y, and Z, yeah, so. That's, it's, it's remarkable yeah. that you're here telling the story because a yeah. lot of people will probably say, ah, oh, I hold resentment to this situation that before yeah, then nah. I had my career ahead of me. Yeah, I was yeah, playing, yeah, yeah. I was a champ baller. Yeah. After I got stabbed, I've not been the same. Yeah. And that's due to obviously these crazed yeah, individuals. Yeah, 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 yeah. But obviously you seem like a person of responsibility that, no, I shouldn't have been there. I shouldn't have been there. That's, mm. that's the, that is the actual, that's the truth. Like probably when I got to about 25, so I'm 29 now, and like 24, 25, I used to always end up being in the same kind of problems 
and it was especially with females. Not that this incident had all to do with females, but it was a lot of time with females. And I, I used to say to my wife, why am I always, why have I always got the same problem? Last like week you lose your one. senses with Dallas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, what is going on? I used to get like, not upset, like cry, but I used Watch to get side. deep like, yo, why, why me? This one, that one, this one, that one. And he was like, and he said, is that because you're a liar? I said, hmm? I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> I said, hmm? Michael Ngu, you know him? Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, the big yeah, 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 yeah. He said, my wife, is it him I was talking to? He says, because you are a liar. <laughs> and he's Nigerian, so he put yeah, the yeah, emphasis yeah, yeah. on liar. <laughs> he said it. And I'm looking at him. Uh, hmm? He says, you are a liar. And I was like, that's so true. And then I just stopped lying. No, so, and it, and it, 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 it helped me with everything else. Do you know what I'm saying? So in my, like, I shouldn't have been at that party because that wouldn't, and that would not have happened. Hundred. I'm honest with myself now. I'm honest with myself. Not that I wasn't before, like I was saying it like I used to lie about everything. Mm -hmm. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just so honest with myself and like the situations. Like when I went to them other teams after, yeah, like, cause you've been to recent, I went to Portsmouth, Portsmouth went to Birmingham, Birmingham went Sheffield, to Sheffield United. United. I just weren't fit enough. I so is that in terms of tests or during the games? Just like, yeah, oh. no, I didn't even play many games. I played one with Portsmouth. I was all right in that one, actually. And then when I played that, I didn't hear not back from them. Then I didn't, I came home. I didn't do not for about two or three weeks. No, because I heard like, um, I read some quotes from like Danny Cowley saying, you know mm. what, Dre's been brilliant. He's leading the young yeah, players. Yeah. We like him. Yeah. Let's see if we can get something sorted. Yeah. Kind of thing. And then nothing got sorted. They just didn't like shout back. And I get football's, poli not politics, but like this football business and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't really sweat people. And I think maybe my persona comes off like, ah, does he really, is he, does he want it? Yes, I, I love football. Otherwise, I, do you know where I live? I live north. Portsmouth's quay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I drove there. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Of course wow. I want to play football. And then, so after that, I didn't hear not back. No problem. I think I went, did I go to Birmingham after that? No. Yeah, I think I went to Birmingham after that. Or maybe before, but I just weren't fit enough because, like, I'd go, I'd get an opportunity, I'd go, nothing could come of it, and I'd just go home and I'd be chilling. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And so, I what say, don't you ask for like feedback, or you're just yeah, no, I ask for feedback and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I do everything like protocol, but and then some sometimes people just don't, people just don't respond. Mm -hmm. So, what's the feedback that you're getting from the people? Good. That... Oh yeah, it's good. Oh, oh, we're gonna see. Oh, we're tight on this, that, the other. When I don't go there, nowhere with no expectation, I say okay. What do you want from me? I've never rung one football team saying, can I come? Everyone, I've always been contacted. I'm not saying that chat a bit egotistical, like, oh, people need me. Far from, because I'm nowhere, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, I just go and I try. But I haven't been fit enough. So, so have I, you been offered anything by any of these clubs? Um, at time, when, when, when was I? Yeah, I did. I was. But I, could, but I couldn't accept it. This was, was it before. In, was it in terms of the money that was offered? No, of? no, no, okay. no, no, no. I couldn't accept it because I wasn't, this is, I got offered a lot of stuff when, but my body was a mess. Mm. I pulled my groin, my contract finished at Derby and now the next season I got a few offers, but I couldn't. I had to, I says, I can't, I can't even run, let alone be offered a contract. So yeah, let me go there. Ginnell's the medical because I can cut through certain tests. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll mash up myself more doing the test, but I'll get the contract. <laughs> and now I'm done. I can't play for two seasons. But there's some players that will do that. I mean, so. I guess so, but it's hard. For, yeah. Probably <laughs> so. <laughs> Probably so. But I couldn't. I couldn't have done that. So what was this at champ level as well? Or? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Right. yeah. What, what clubs were there? Um, I, don't know, I can't even remember. That's not saying. It didn't even feel like it was me living this life. <laughs> but I know I definitely had like three offers. when I When I left Derby... Contract finished, I did my groin. That that summer, I was it where did I go? My groin was done. I was in LA. In my boy heads, yeah. So in LA, my phone was ringing. I had offers on the table. For sure. For sure, for sure. For sure. For sure, yeah. Hundred mm, percent. So it's like cause again, you haven't played for coming up to two seasons. Yeah. Which is like cause again, I, I was speaking to like a pro player last season mm -hmm. and he was a free agent. And he, we had like private talks yeah. about stuff like that. And sometimes these clubs will offer you like low finance. Yeah. If you've not played, they'll be like, listen, we're taking a bet on you, you two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. So you got to accept X. Yeah, yeah. So what what sort of position are you in now? Because 
probably the longer you've not played, the yeah, lower yeah. leverage the, the, you've got. The, the low, yeah, yeah, the lower it goes. Yeah. The lower it goes. And all these teams, excuse me, um, talk to each other as well. Mm. So maybe I, I might have shot myself in the foot a bit with going to these teams and not being fit enough prior. But I think that was just more my love of football. Oh, you want me to come play? Yeah, of course yeah, I'll yeah. come. Yeah, you come. No, oh, can you do these tests? I'll run in. Everything's... No. Yeah, give me a week, man, to 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 play and just to feel the vibe. But um, yeah, I think next season. So this is what I've said to myself in my head. Next season, like now, I'm probably the fittest I've been since I left Derby. Since since I left Derby, like I put on quite a bit of weight. I'm a naturally a big guy anyway. Usually, I fluctuate from like ninety six kilos to like ninety nine kilos. But I got up to like 106 kilos. Jeez, yeah. Yeah. So that's like... Got that jerk chicken, yeah? This is jerk, the jerk... The jerk... The, <laughs> them patties <laughs> as well, yeah? yeah. Cheesy beef. Hard yeah. food, yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying... So I got, but I got up to about 106 kilos. Um, Now I'm back... To, now, as of yesterday, I told you I've been going to kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. Playing football more. I'm doing this, that, the other. I'm back to my weight. I was... What was I yesterday? I was... I was 100... Bang on, do you know what I'm saying? So for pre-season, I'm going to put myself out there and see if I get any opportunities. I'm going to go for it. So what, have you got an agent and stuff like that? Right? No, but I, like obviously I've got relationships with people. So people can speak on my behalf and, and whatnot. But I'm going to put myself out there, like me saying, I want to come here to prove to you that I can do X, Y, and Z. Because I know I can. So I, is there like a level that you said, you know what? I no, I don't have any expectation because mm. I think, well, this is just me. Um, Got to take it step by step. That's what I think. I think that's best. I think I work best that way, taking things step by step. Okay, first of all, it's getting the opportunity because I could say, yeah, I'm gonna go to the prem. Mm. I might ring everybody. Everyone says no. Now that that end goal is no mm. nowhere near in sight. Can't even get the can't even get in the door. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So let's say if in the worst case scenario that is the case, you put the work in front of someone calling clubs mm -hmm. X Y Z. And there's no opportunity. Mm. What do you What do you do? What do I do? Continue living. <laughs> Continue mm. trying. Yeah. There's nothing much more I can do. I'll be in great shape just with no opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's been the facts though. Yeah. I'm in great shape, no opportunity. I've been a five aside legend, <laughs> seven aside Don. Yeah. Do you know them ones? Yeah. Nine aside Kingpin. <laughs> What else can I do except keep trying? Yeah. And I'll keep trying. And I think like my name holds enough merit through respect, um, professionalism, that I will get another opportunity. And so that's what, for young players especially, from one time you're 16, 17, don't go in and let you know a bad man or you don't have no manners and you don't know what good morning means and you don't know what thank you and no thank you, how much it can take you and the places it can get you. Because I won't say I've been over like polite or over... Um, nice to people but you know the opportunities I've got just from good morning mm. yes please no thank you I'm very good oh how are you how's your day open the door for the woman I've got you know how many links and people I know through like having good etiquette you know what I'm saying so hopefully my op all opportunities that I have got prior were through that oh, he told me he was a great top guy. He did this, that, the other. That's where my opportunities have come from so far. So hopefully they can they can continue. Because mm, we said on this platform that like, we're uh, insight and educational platform. I wanted to ask you about, because you've played at the top table, mm. Premier League, alongside Suarez, mm, Gerrard, Starry Sterling, yeah, yeah. Coutinho. Yeah. And now you're in a position where you've not got a club. Mm. So like, what sort of things, how has that been to cope with? Yeah, I mean, where I'm from, that don't mean nothing. These Suarez, cold players, Coutinho, Sturridge, cold players, unbelievable players. But the, the people. Yeah. The people. To, yeah, that I know, I knew that was going to be honest. <laughs> I, know, yeah, I know your mindset. You know when some mind. people are like, oh, stop, oh, this, that, that, that. I'm like, okay. Cold, yes. Football, you are sick. Yeah. Suarez megs everyone off his knee. This, that scores how many goals? Unbelievable. You're a person that mm. does it like, okay. So I play with any anybody. Just the other night I was playing five sides with, with Mandem. Mm. And I say Mandem, I mean 
Man, yeah. <laughs> there's a difference between man and, and, and man, man them. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. everyone's arguing, nearly yeah. fighting. Yeah, you know them. Well, Proper. Yeah, I'll yeah, show you yeah. my leg after I got one yeah. big chunk out of here. I swear, <laughs> yes. like playing football, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm a, I'm a human mm. first and foremost. Before anything else, I'm Andre. Before anything else, forget. Oh, I used to play football. I used to do this. Well, right now, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, do I prefer to be playing at Anfield in of front course. of you? Yes. Yeah. Would you not? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. But I'm here. So are you. Shh, yeah. Let's get on with it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I just get on with it. Get up every morning. I do what I do. That's what I always say. What are you doing today? What I need to do. <laughs> yeah, but what? Kickboxing. Don't saying? worry about that. I'm good. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, there's people, man. Because mm, I wanted to talk again, bro. Like As I said to you, you've achieved a lot. Mm. You've won leagues in Austria, yeah, Cups, England under 21s. We've oh, not yeah. really spoken about that. And when I was like sort of prepping for this pod, I watched like a press conference of you and Gareth Southgate. Yeah. And he's like, listen, Andre's my captain. Yeah. There was this whole press conference. And there was like a trailer of the players that were there. Zaha, Kane, Wolf, yeah. Stones, Harry, Berahino, yeah. Ward Prowse. Yeah, yeah. Literally so, the who's who. Yeah, the man them. The yeah, yeah. Them. So like, what was that experience? That experience was good. That experience was good. Like I said, that feels like a lifetime ago. Was that in <laughs> Israel maybe? I think it was. Yeah, it was in Israel. Israel. I think Stuart Pierce, yeah, Gareth Southgate. Was. But me and Gareth didn't get on. Me and Gareth, okay. didn't, me and Gareth didn't get on. I think St me and Stuart Pierce had a better relationship. So why did Southgate make you the captain? I think because he was underneath Stuart Pierce. Was he, wasn't he the manager then? No, Stuart Pierce was 21's manager first. Yeah. And then then Southgate yeah, took the took 20. Over, yeah. So yeah, so Stuart Pierce probably told Southgate, I'm not sure, mm. but it probably says, oh yeah, I want Andre to be the captain. So you, you, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. bring him true type of thing. And so we did. But me and Gareth never, never really got on. Um, That's interesting because a lot of people say Gareth's skill is he's my management. Yeah, that for me, I don't know. It's just, um, yeah, not everybody in this world supposed to click. Yeah, no, yeah. I so I don't that. think we we clicked, and I got sent off one game. I remember that, and I think after that you didn't. And I didn't play yeah. again because I think he wanted me to apologize to everyone. Oh, in the changing room. Like. Yeah, something like uh, what's the assistant called who used to be at Steve Chelsea? Holland. Steve Holland. Yeah, and Steve said something, and. I was I don't I won't call it rude, but I said I think I said something back like no. What do you mean apologize to everyone? And it, I think it was the fact maybe it was my ego. Like I was still I was only probably like eighteen, nineteen then. Maybe growing up I could maybe could have handled it, but I can't ever remember it was that long ago. But I think you wanted me to apologize to everyone, say sorry because you let the whole team down. Okay, but you don't need to, we can have that conversation in private. I'm more, don't try publicly embarrass me because yeah. it's not going to go well for you. Yeah. And I'll just collapse the whole, everything. I don't <laughs> care about nothing. When you're from there, I'll Everything, yeah, everything. Like, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll, ri I'll risk it all right now. Let's go. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it's this done. Pardon? You know what? You know what? Someone, and then I remember, no, was Mike there? I'm not even sure. <laughs> but in scenarios, I've been in situations where I feel it and I know I'm, I'm ready. Just, I don't care no more. One of my boys, Michael, again, he tapped me one time and I looked at him. I need this one. Like he knew that I'm really on that that yeah. zone. That, yeah. So yeah, but maybe I could have handled that that better. But yeah, after that, I, d I just I just didn't, didn't didn't play for them again. But that was a good experience. They are the lads grew up with them, yeah, bro. Like a lot of the players that you played with, yeah, were, grew like, up with Harry them. Harry Kane, one of the best strikers He's in, in the, the world. world. Yeah, yeah, grew up with mm. them. Proper good guys. Harry Harry Kane, class guy. Proper. Even when I see him, if I see him now. Good brother, Ward Prowse, you mentioned, Wolf, sick. Like, he annoys me because he's, he's obviously, he's obviously sick. Everyone can, but he's even better than what he is. Okay. He's unbelievable, he's, he's So sick. is he like the, who is the best of the bunch at that England under 21? Yeah, I, prob I probably would say Wolf's up there. Yeah, probably yeah. Wolf. Wolf, he's, he's better than, what, that's what I said, it annoys me. He's better than what he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, what he's showing, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. His, his class, his class, raw talent, his ability, his sharpness in his mind. Sick. Harry Kane, obviously, skeng man, finisher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leng, just bam. Yeah. Don't really pass to no one. Don't really. Yeah, yeah, Wham, yeah. goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Class. Ward Prowse, one of the best professionals alongside Connor Cody. I've seen. Do you know what I'm saying? One of. And then, the ages above that was like Jordan Henderson and that man Martin Waghorn that's my guy Martin Waghorn but great professionals good good like leaders and role models and how to to take this like look I wear this jacket before you you know 
Like I'm, I've been a football player longer than you, sorry. Yeah. Trust me, this is how you cut through the football player world. Follow mm. me, I'll do it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll show you how to speak to people without even having that conversation with you. Yeah. Just do it. They're like, yo, Dre, come here. Shh, just sit there. You went, oh, cool, respect. You get me? Yeah. Yeah. That was Jordan Henderson and them type of man. Henry Lansbury. But yeah, played with some sick players, man. It's been a hell of a journey. When I say a hell of one, hell of one. They even feel like it's it's been me living it. But mm. I wanted to ask you because again, we want to provide education. You haven't played for two years. Mm. And obviously as a footballer, you're earning good money. Yeah. So how have you managed money. to like keep yourself afloat? Maintain. <laughs> yeah, maintain because bro, there's no baller money coming in. <laughs> no so baller yeah. money coming in. No, no effects. <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> <laughs> You know what you have to do? You have to, what I always used to think growing up, I used to see people that, you know, when you hear family members like talk about money and they say, I'm broke. I used to always think, how? That's what I always used to think was how. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I used to think, how? You get this, you knew what money was coming at the end of the month before it's come. Didn't you plan out? Didn't you plan nothing? It was just your plan. You're not thinking. You've got everything you want, but you don't have everything you need. That's wrong. Mm. I remember one of my uncles, he always used to come to my grandma's for money, but always had cigarettes. Mm. So how can I borrow 10 pounds? But I'm like, you've got cigarettes. How <laughs> How do you need 10 pounds, but you've got cigarettes? <laughs> You're not prioritizing where you need to go. Nah, I don't need cigs. Nah, clearly not. I just need, you need 10 pounds for electric. How? Swap the cigarettes for the electric. Now, You've got what you need because you need electric fundamentally, you know what I'm saying, to, to live in the house, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And for the cigarettes, so, I always, so I've always had a plan for my money. So yeah, I was making great money from, from the age of 17. I remember 17, not that I'll speak about money much numbers wise, but I remember it was like, the first pro was like 1,300 pound or something a week. And I was like, what? Mm. The f the what? Coming from where I'm coming from, this huh? is like, yeah. Mm. Even the scholar was, I was cutting through with the scholar. Lovely, <laughs> neatly as well. Like lovely, you know, like I had my 110s, <laughs> had my, you know, my yeah. pieces. I was lo lovely on scholar. Yeah. Then when I got that 1,300, one, yeah. I was like, oh. I'm the man now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Slow down. So it was from then, but I was like, okay, first two, three months went crazy. Mm. Yeah, obviously. You got that Young out of your guy. system. Get out, out of your system. system. Yeah. yeah, go buy this, buy that, go buy. Remember first night out, you get a bottle of champagne. You don't, who even drink champagne like that anyway? You know, like you do the things that are you the cool. You see that are perceived as. Are perceived yeah. as cool and mm. X, Y, and Z. Did all of that. And then after it was like, okay, so what can I do with this money then? All right, cool. I'll get a car. Yeah, but don't buy one, you know, because you lease it and da, da, da. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's only this much a month. Oh, but I've still got all that, the rest. <laughs> okay, what do I do with that then? Get another car. car. <laughs> Get another <laughs> car. Yeah, I've never been that too calm. Man. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one of me. I'm I'm like, it's kind of selfish, but I get called tight. Like, you're tight, bro. Why don't you just get the next one? For what? <laughs> yeah, Osman will drive it. Yeah, I'm not you, man, though. But I me pay for it. I'm like, you're not going mad. <laughs> <laughs> you like I'm mad. You like I'm mad. You got mad. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, I've always looked for ways. To what to always thought about what to do with my money. And then yeah, got into property. Start doing property. Like I've got some houses that I rent out to Liverpool. Oh, the club. Yeah, yeah, and they put like some of like the young players. Who oh, live yeah, there. Yeah, big you know up, big up, big yeah, like big when up. they come from um, different cities, X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. Do you know what I'm saying? And the families live in some of my houses. So so that's one thing. And just save. You don't need to spend that much. You don't need to spend that much. A lot of things are like materialistic things. Mm -hmm. And once you have that, like, get them things out of your system when you're young, there's only so much more, like, you, you start to care about. Like, you can have, of course, buy what you like and do, do what you want with your money. But some days it gets rainy. And I'm in one of them rainy times and it can get peak. Mm -hmm. And then what? You've got hella Dior, but nowhere to live. What go on? You got to shot it for yeah. half price now. On deep, on what's that? <laughs> deep, deep, pot deep, pot, <laughs> deep pot one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because you've, you've rinsed out the things, it, you can't even sell it good again. Because man don't want it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So you've got bare drip and no lip to back up the drip. Yeah. 
I don't even know no, what that I meant, but you know, yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. you know, the, you know I think the this reasons. is good education it for is. younger players yeah, as well. Yeah, because like. everyone knows what I'm on about. All these men, like, yeah, they be like, no, I don't even do that too much. And da, da, da. Bro, I've been there, the audition, out that Louis V, like, B, Q, T's, <laughs> X, Z's. Bit, all them things, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go on holiday, girl, this, you're like, bro, <laughs> this, nah, what? Nah. You get excited. No, nah, I'm not even spending no money tonight, you know. I'm just chilling. You see two girl, you're like, yeah, right, let's get a bottle. Quick bottle. <laughs> get two bottles at home. <laughs> We've been there. I'm saying, but enjoy and do them things, mm. of course. But certain t- like, you get to a point where it's like, okay, how much more can I keep doing that? 100. You know what I'm saying? And start to think in, in other things. Or even if you don't want to, say, invest in gambler tech, there's something to save. Just mm. save. You don't have to do nothing with it. You don't have yeah. to do nothing with it. So in terms of you, is property like the only game you're playing right now? Yeah, it's the only game I'm playing because mm. everybody needs somewhere to live, I think. Yeah. Bricks and it's all... safe, yeah, it's safe. You yeah. can see it, you it's can safe. feel can it. You see can it there. Like yeah. Yeah. Like and I, like I, always, that, right? I always think, I come, maybe I'm a bit pessimistic when it comes to like money and stuff, but I always think, if like, this is how like realistic I am. I'm like, bailiffs can come. They can take everything, but they cannot take the brick. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's fact. Take everything. Yeah, it's true, this it's brick true. will sell for something. Yeah. You get me? 100. Precisely. So, yeah, I just operate like that. But even if you don't even want to gamble and take risks, I'm not really a risk taker like that mm. with investments and stuff. Property. And even that's a risk right now with the market. Mm. It's peak. It's very volatile right now. Very. But, um, but yeah, I'll just save. You get £10. Say four. So how is it like being, I don't know, because you were talking about having bare wisdom. So obviously yeah. when you were playing football, mm-hmm. so that responsibility is still there. And as I said- It's not coming the, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. How, how do you manage you have that? To, I have to be a man, have to talk up. No. Honest conversation. Honest conversation. Mm. And sometimes you don't even need to conversate because you don't need to tell it someone else because of a title. It could be a parent. It could be a, a family member. But you don't have to tell them your situation over something that they're asking for, or maybe need um, assistance with, you just have to say yes and no. Oh no, I can't do that. Sorry, I would if I could. You don't, sometimes you don't even need to reply. You can, of course, depending on who and stuff like that, but you don't need to like over explain. That's what I mean. Like yeah. that, that, that's what I mean by reply. Like you don't need to get into it. You don't need to explain. Nah, sorry, I can't even do that, you know? That's it. Then, then you get, you know, with relationships world. Why? Do you, Bro, I can't do it. That's me again now. I'm not replying. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just honest. Oh, bro, can I ask a favour? No, you can't ask the favour. Now I don't even need to know nothing. Are you free to talk? No. Now what? Mm. I will send that back in a text message. Bro, you're free to speak. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. It's the truth. No, but people can't, some people don't like it. It's <laughs> yeah. blunt or rude. Okay, cool. Well, don't talk to someone who's blunt. You knew, you, you've known me 20 years. <laughs> And you knew this. You know, sometimes but you're still me, texting me. Sometimes for me, family feel entitled. No, family's know? not the entitlement thing. And obviously, this is more time who I'm talking about, family, in these, <laughs> yeah. in these yeah, situations. Yeah. Or close-knit friends, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But don't feel no way, man. Cool. So these conversations didn't, didn't need to be had sometimes because life changes, it's ups, downs. Mm. So you cost a living. Mm. You go park your car, it costs all £10. Then you're like, what? Yeah. Bro, Go me buy and Doc were talking this, about on our way up the amount of fines we've had to be paid fines recently, bro. And this and, and that. Chucking and a bill here, 50 here, 50 there. But you know, yeah. it's but like, no, it's, it's yeah. costly, it's man. It's costly, it's costly. costly bro. It's, it's a cold world we're living in. <laughs> what the future? I wanted to ask you again because I know at the moment you're not playing, you're doing five or seven asides. Yeah. And you've spoken about like building relationships mm. with clubs. Obviously, you're working with Liverpool, they're sort of renting out your property. Mm-hmm. Have you had any conversations about, I don't know, training with the 23s or using Melwood or Mm-mm. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. In terms of going back into a club, so you're in that dynamic. No, so in that environment. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, Why not? I'm not sure. I think that's just, yeah. No. Do you know there's, there's a saying? It's like, don't let people know you need a favour, even if you need the favour. There's, so there's a difference with like asking and somebody inviting you. Mm. And in football, it's very, football is very egotistical. And these people will say, my door's always open. Come in when you want. If you ever need anything, ring me. Ah, oh, anytime you're over this way, 
Oh, anytime you're in Manchester, give me a bell, we'll go for a drink. Listen, I'm not stupid. My name's Wisdom for a reason. <laughs> no, you have the wisdom. I'm good. I know where, listen, I walk down my road, there's a piece of grass that's called a park. It's got two goalposts. I've got brothers, I've got cousins. You lot go in there. I've got cones in my boot. I've got footballs. I go park. How did I start? Uh, from times I went Bradford, that's what got me to Bradford, the park. And then that got me to Liverpool. Then that got me to Derby, West Brom. Da, da, da. I go park. All that running, all that science. I don't need all the machines. But isn't that different though? Because again, if you're playing like grassroots, mm. at least when you're going to the next club, you can be like, oh, I've been at Derby for yeah, three yeah, months, months training. Yeah, no, no, so yeah. that gives you that credit yeah, in the facts. banks. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it does. It does, it does. But I think I'm at an age now where the, the, it should be some paper like google it you know where i've been like you know what you know i can play football it's the case of am i fit enough and will i slot into what you've got going on here and yes or no see have a look might take you a week might take you two weeks but the first three four days you'll see that okay he's he's able to compete mm. that's the that's the place i'm going to put myself in like hi i'm ready if i come after one two days come all right what do you need me to do on the first day do this oh well we need you to do these tests or whatever. If you pass them, then you get, the, okay, cool, no problem, I'll come. Oh yeah, well, you know, we can't pick, don't forget about that. Let me just give myself the opportunity for me to be looked at. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. So people know who I am. People know that I played football. People know that I can play football. I know I can. Me, first and foremost, I don't care what other people know or th what I should think they know. I know I can. If you give me the opportunity, then, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that's um, a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Give me opportunity, then hopefully I can prove myself. Yeah. Um, I was gonna sort of what in terms of. Oh, I wanted to talk about Liverpool now mm. again. Mm. Obviously, we've seen the season that the club have had. Yeah. I came to Manchester what like three weeks ago, and I watched the City Liverpool City four Liverpool. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I was in the City end, so oh, <laughs> yeah, it's getting yeah, a bit. Ah, oh, it's, it's a lonely place. To be honest, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I watched that team, I saw. Obviously, Liverpool have improved recently, but at that yeah, time, yeah. I saw like a broken team. I saw mm. sort of Trent and Hendo arguing. Yeah. Hendo's like, Trent, like, they're doing the overloads. They've scored like the same goal three, three times. times yeah. What's happening kind of thing. So so what are you seeing in terms of Andre Wisdom, the footballer, looking at Liverpool? Yeah. Um, just it's because they set such high standards it's now easy to criticise and judge them because of what we know they can be and what they have been. And sometimes when things aren't going right for you, it just don't, just don't go right. Just don't go right. Get tight. And then it, it drains you. So all these could be like, li all these little things accumulate to one big thing. And now you start to look tired. Now all the, the noise that you wasn't paying attention to before, you start paying attention to. Now, for instance, to say, oh, Trent can't defend, da, da, da. maybe now he's listening to that more. Now he's overthinking the defending. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they say, no, Henderson's lost his legs. Might, he might be now trying to do more running, which in fact, sure. blowing his gasket now. <laughs> yeah. Should have just kept doing what he was yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying maybe, but it seems like there's a lot of little things here and there. Oh, he should have done that. He should have done that. We're not scoring as fluid as we used to. Um, but it's like when it clicks, it clicks. When it clicks, seven it clicks. Nil you see, you see yeah, seven nil leads the other day. Listen, the when it clicks, spread, yeah. it's it's unstoppable. Mm. So, so you can't, you can't. <laughs> Teams don't know what to do. When it clicks, Trent death zings it all the way to Robertson. I'm saying mm. the right, they're two play same position mm. pretty much. And he's zinging it and he's playing. He's whamming it there. Salah, you know he's on mm. his left foot. You know yes, he is. Bro, you can't man. stop it though. <laughs> You know he's gonna yeah. want to cut back inside and yeah. go and did, can't stop it. There's Van Dyke. He don't even tackle. Hardly tackles. Mm. But mm. Got, he's always got to, always gets the ball off you. How? Mm. He makes you fall down and stuff <laughs> without touching you. Yeah. It's mad. Mm. Kanat is a monster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a physical hey, specimen. Either. I've seen man running through like yeah, I've got a way there. Yeah, that's yeah. wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? No, not today. Not today. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fabinho, mm. bro, this guy can read football like. Like he's a like he's Doctor yeah, Doctor just, Strange, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know he does all the maths things in his head. <laughs> the ball's gonna go there, there, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Intercept, intercept is sick. 
everyone's mm. everyone's sick, but sometimes it just don't don't work, bro. And yeah. also, I think we have to celebrate this Liverpool team for the have success to, that they've had. Bro. And people are still probably judging but, but the players. Yeah, that's why we can judge them so easily because it's like, well, no, because we know what they, they can do, they have done. Yeah. It's easy to say, yeah, you know, these men are rubbish. These men are finished now. No, they're not finished. They're finished maybe to what they did, mm. but no one there. So, so just very quickly, talking of clicking, we saw the other day Trent Alexander Arnold mm. absolutely click against Leeds, where he yeah. absolutely took them to the yeah, sword playing do, that inverted can, role. Can have them games, man. As as a fellow like right back, as mm. you've played throughout your career, like what's your take on Trent? Class, best in the world. Um, not for me. So who's the best right back for you? Right back? Yeah. See, I look at right back a bit different. Yeah, because it's funny. This is a different question in itself. Because yeah. when you played, I think the responsibility of a right back was different. It's different roles, now yeah. Now it's sort of like the right back's but say, but You're getting judged. Yeah, so say, would you say cre creative right back? Probably best in the world. Mm. So are you a fan of moving him into midfield? You see, I'm not a fan. That's I don't know right back as that. She sent him, he did, sent him in for me. Mm. He's playing right back there. Okay, cool. With one wingers on the left wing, like Arjun Robin back, Quay back, <laughs> and you get spot. You finish now. That's when he gets criticised for the defending. Mm. But the same people who are criticising him are praising him for his attacking. So I'm like, so what do you want from this boy then? Mm. What do you want from him? So what's your view on what a right back is? Like, if I defend. Say, so who's the best right back defending for you? In, in terms of when you watch him, you think, yeah, this guy's clocked this game. I don't think anyone's clocked the game. Sorry, I'm not even chat, but I know what you meant. But probably in England, Wamba Saka. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, a lot of people will agree with you. Because there's this whole thing about right backs, again, in the modern game. Tell me who's beat him. Defensively, he's, he's up there. He's a defender. Yeah. He's a defender. He's a defender. I think some people will agree with you. To be fair, but yeah. again, now right backs will look back differently. You yeah. need to be contributing, yeah, 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 assisting. Yeah, true. So, so it's like, oh, goals, well, you're a dinosaur. Kicks. You need to move with the times. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But I just think I'd prefer a team. Not that I plan on being a manager, but if I was, I'd have a team of defenders and then my midfielders need to be doing all of that. And my attackers. My defenders, need, obviously, you've got to get forward and X, Y, and Z. But one thing I would say is that you can tell you've not been on social media. Yeah, I don't go because, on. Because, you like, know, I if you check it. social media, people will be like, oh, it's Trent, Reese James. It's it. So that's like a Oh, yeah, unique Reece James is another one. Fantastic player, man. Yeah, really? You're a Chelsea man? No, I'm Liverpool, oh, but Liverpool. when I see Dave yeah. was talking about him. Yeah, he does. Like, yeah, but he gets injured a lot. So mm. he, needs to, he needs to change something. Can't keep it. Because he gets the same one all the time, right? Yeah. So he's doing something. I don't know. He's not, he's not, might not be eating an, enough something or <laughs> he needs to... <laughs> Switches tech on summit. Mm -hmm. Summit is not doing summit. The same injury over and over means uh, summit's not clicking right here. I don't know. But yeah, class player. There's enough good man, but defenders, probably him, Kyle Walker. But I don't really like Kyle Walker. Why? Because some people say he uses his speed to get out of jail kind of thing. So defensively, maybe he's positioning. Yeah, well, well, well what else would you use? Some people think if you're in if the right position, position in the first yeah, yeah, you place, have you don't to use it. Yeah, yeah, you can be in the right position and stuff like that. But then sometimes, man, to hit, don't. Sometimes that don't matter. Mm. <laughs> can be in the right position. I've been in the right position bare times. You see, man, run past. You say, "How? Oh, I'm here. Should have got it." So, yeah, I don't know. Mm. So, I, in terms of know. Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp, he's. Obviously, he's come under a lot of criticism and he's sort of said that, listen, if I was judged on this season mm. alone, I wouldn't be Liverpool manager. He's mm. aware that he's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. living off credit in the bank yeah, over yeah, previous yeah. years. So how, what do you think about his position and how did you find sort of like dealing with him when your sort of Liverpool days were coming to an end? Yeah, um, seemed cool. The very passionate, what you see is what you get type of thing. Um, I didn't have long with him. I did a pre-season, we went to America. Was it America? I think so. And it was cool. It was intense. It's what you see is what you get type of thing. Like training is, what is it? Um, train how you play yeah, type yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. It was like it was like that. But yeah, it was good. And of course, I think that's why people build credit. 
course. Yeah. That's what, like, the world as such. Yeah. That's why you can get a mortgage and get a, 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 a loan and yeah, stuff because yeah. your credit's good. Yeah. So why should they operate in that sense? You get me? Yeah. But yeah, he's a class manager. It's just, and you know football, man. It's like a, it's a conveyor belt. Like, you know, like the air, in the airport. And yeah. The suitcase yeah, yeah, just keeps going around. Like, That's mine. It's good and then it's yeah. not so good and it's bad. Even like the way coming off Liverpool, but like the way managers get sacked, it's like they get sacked to get a new to it's, it's weird. I'm thinking you'd hire him after, didn't you see what he did at his last job? And you're hiring him. <laughs> oh, we'd suit this club great. No, look what he just did. He, he didn't do nothing. But it's is crazy. But yeah, Jurgen Klopp's a sick manager, bro. He's won the Prem, the Champ, the Champs League, the, the um, FA Cup, FA FA everything. Cup. Everything. he's won everything. Clean sweet. Even the, the World Cup. Club, club, yeah, yeah. I can't even, I, what is it? Yeah, what, club, world club, yeah, world club, yeah. I would say yeah, it's won everything, so of course, give him the time and the grace. He's took you to the promised land before, okay, it's going a bit sticky. It's like people who are in relationships, oh, bro, just do my head in, we're splitting up, brother, work it out, like try and oh, find man. a solution. Yeah. Give the girl some time, <laughs> do you know what I mean, though? Everything's yeah, just so easy, oh. Is done. Yeah. We lost two. Is done. But that's football, though. That's yeah. football, bro. But I'm saying that's like the world now. Mm. Just knows no. Yeah, I don't out. want this anymore. Quit my job. Get Straight. Yeah, it's done. Yes. Who's the manager talking to? He told me shut up. No, not going back. That's the way everything is. So yeah, like I said, I don't even judge. Like they're gonna say what they're gonna say. But clock clock was good, and obviously everybody can see that it was it was good. Yes, I think we'll move on to life outside of football. There's one thing we've spoken on the phone about, you not being on social media. Mm. What's the reasons for that? Because I'm not going to lie, I admire you because I think we're in an age where it's like follow, follow. Oh, everyone's follow, on follow. social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. You've like stuck to your guns and you've, I've checked LinkedIn, nothing. Instagram, nothing. <laughs> Twitter, nothing. TikTok. Nothing. <laughs> Never. You, won't, you won't find You man don't do no dances though, do you? No, no, no. I'm going to no, 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 no. <laughs> say, I'm going to call you a chief if you did that. <laughs> we got the pod on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pod only, pod yeah, only. Yeah, yeah, so like, why aren't you on social media? Um... I remember when I was younger, I was like, temptation's a thing. And I thought, I can't go on there. Too, there's too much temptation on there. What, a gal? Yeah. <laughs> That's the temptation mm. for that for that specific. And it's just not me. I'm very much, I'm, I'm an in the, in the moment type person. I'm very living. In my, I don't like the first thing you see is... And it's everywhere. People getting out the phones to film everything. I'm just not on it for Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and stuff like that. I'm I'm just not on it. Don't know why. I'm just not on it. I prefer to to live in the moment. I mean, I take pictures and stuff, but that's on my phone and stuff. And yeah, and I think as well. Why would you want people knowing your business that you don't know? Especially being like a public figure and putting like intimate stuff on there. I just, I, I mean, I just don't know. There's pros for everything and there's cons. But for me, the cons outweigh the pros more. But in terms of football right now, players are brands. You mm. get a huge following engagement. That opens up opportunities that you can now leverage when you retire. So mm. have you thought about that aspect? Um no, because probably I'm probably not brand friendly as such, <laughs> and I don't and I don't mean that that I'm that I'm rude, mm. far from. I'm very polite, respectful, all of such. But there's certain things that dead <laughs> maybe ask of. This is hypothetical, obviously. Then ask of that I won't just be going for. <laughs> it's just not, and it's not because of my views on anything like that. I keep my views to myself. I don't speak about nothing. When you say, oh, "What do you think about that?" I don't know next do you know what I'm saying if I know it's controversial because you can't say nothing about nothing you can hardly joke yeah. about yeah, stuff yeah. how dare you say that yeah I'm offended by this that the other you know what what well, I said don't don't speak don't speak I remember my granddad said something in his yard accent I can't even remember the words fully but let's keep your mouth closed just shush so that's what I do I just, just shush you get me so yeah the brand thing probably you. say oh can you do this what me never 
<laughs> now what? Now contracts all breached and that. You yeah, get me? Yeah, Let me allow yeah, it. Yeah. So you don't want that control, that kind of. Yeah, I need to be. I'm. I'm a free. I'm a free spirited type of person. I say spirit. That sounded a bit. A bit too free. Um, <laughs> I'm just a free person. I just do what I. I like. I want and do. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if it's a, like a contract, it has to be up under like my terms as such. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like football, it's very. There's not so much like obligations. I love football. I'll go there. Okay, what did they ask me? Oh, you might have to do a bit of community service once in a while. Yeah, that's cool. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm agreeing with everything that's on there. You got to do this, do that. Yeah, no problem. In other things, oh, you can't. Imagine if you was with a clothing brand. If we see you wearing another yeah, brand, yeah. we're going to. You, so like you've got uh, Under Armour. Well, oh, you can't wear Nike or something. And I'm yeah. like, but why? But I. But, so what I, mean, I, like, I like that though <laughs> as well. Not saying I don't rate your thing because I do. <laughs> That's why I'm signing it. But but why? Yeah. And then yeah, I'm like telling me what to wear. No, I take it like you're telling me what to wear. Mm. Everything. Nah, nah. Allow me. So yeah. Yeah, and in terms of like music, let's say you're going on date night with the missus because yeah. I know you like your gun. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you rocking? What's the drip? What drip? Yeah. I'll probably see what she wears, you know. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Let's say she's in heels looking. Poof. Yeah. So I'd probably... D- yeah, it depends on my mood. Mm. So it couldn't be jeans, but I probably might do some cargoes. Okay. I'm not really... I haven't really caught the flare thing yet. The flare <laughs> <jeans>. <laughs> I'm still yeah. on slim fit. You get yeah, me? Yeah, same, same, same. Still on slim fit yeah. or regular, but slimish. Yeah, regular. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, Or the cargoes. Um, obviously trainers it just it just depends what, what kind of t-shirt I've got on or I might do silk shirt I've been going through a silk shirt phase okay yeah Gucci have had a couple what couple? serious yeah, ones yeah. and and so I've probably got majority of them um, yeah it just de- it just depends but it's key with what she's wearing you know what I'm saying or the or the pets like you need to. I need to like bounce. Like okay, mm-hmm. so what? That's what you're working. All right, let me. All right, cool. I'm gonna throw this on you. You know what I'm saying? So what you're saying? You're quick to like scrub up. So you see. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Twenty minutes. Up. Calm. <laughs> Just yeah. Twenty. Calm. I shower and then bam, come yeah. out. <laughs> I sit on the sit on the side, cool down. Because I'm one of them man. As soon as I dry and I cream, I'm sweating again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's... Give me five, <laughs> and then bam, yeah. So I was going to ask, um, in terms of, uh, obviously, like, if any clubs are watching this, mm. thinking, oh, Andre Wiz, oh, yeah, we're interested. He's got credit mm. in the bank and mm-hmm. we like to chat or et cetera. Like, what would you say to those clubs, like, managers that are watching this podcast? Um, Ring me. Or oh, I'll text. <laughs> <laughs> text. <laughs> yeah, text. Ring me. I'm very honest. I'm very open. Pause. Um, <laughs> and any opportunity is a good opportunity. Um, yeah. Any so Dre, honestly, like, like even from me, just advice. Don't you think it's good to go back into like a club and just train? Because I think that will be good for you, bro. No, nah, you're in the system. One hundred percent. That's what I said. For I said like preseason, I'm going to put myself out there mm. and, and go for it and ask for opportunities and see what I can come up with. Yeah, for sure. But I'm saying as of now, I'm just going to do my own thing, wait for the season to finish. And then when the season's done, let everybody have, might give them two weeks to, to rest. And then I'm going to get back on get the phone. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so, but but for sure, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit good for me. Anything else? Dre, bro, you've been a yeah. fantastic guest, man. On, Very man. open, yeah, raw, man. real. Yeah. 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 That's it. You get what I mean? Yeah, straight, man. And that's that's what we love on this platform. Very last one from me. Um, we have a new segment on this podcast where we ask the guest that's experienced. <laughs> I think you know what's coming. <laughs> the TBG sort of interview um, to recommend a potential guest mm. for the podcast that you've either played with or mm. who's a good friend that you could potentially help us with. So off the top of your head, yeah, who comes know- to mind? You know, the story is crazy. It's Colin Cousin Richards. You know, mm. what's funny. I've got a friend that obviously knows and he's like, yeah, he's gonna, that'll be, yeah. Colin's story is crazy. 
or but is it still in Turkey or you know who else is a good story you know Brad Bradley Johnson yeah yeah he's Jono a, man he's like Jono guy. yeah Jono yeah. yeah. yeah trust me he grew up in the ends as well I know he yeah, got, yeah, had yeah. an incident mm, where yeah, things right. happened yeah, yeah. Mm. We ain't had him, but he, he said that he's gonna come on. He done the insta live with him mm. during like lockdown, yeah. Kind of film, like, like, get yeah. John on there. His story's proper, you know. And it's so it's so like you don't get like no recognition in football, mm. like, like not really. But yeah, I'd say John O's is serious. It's hard to think on the spot as well. Don't worry, we'll talk about after. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll yeah, talk. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. Make yeah. sure you respond. Didn't <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll respond, I'll respond. No, no, love for sure. Dead, any final thoughts? No, just that, bro. It's been a. This is everything that I thought it was going to be in terms mm-hmm. of the honesty. Yeah. I know what you're like. I've seen yeah, you. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we've spoken <laughs> of that straight as a book. You get me? Yeah. But if you ask you a question, it's going to be a straight answer. Oh, so no yeah, fluff. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So love for this and I'm definitely going to stay in contact yeah for sure man. even if there's any way like because we obviously know a few people get you like opportunities in that man's down for that you no, get me appreciate so, it man so love no, Brian, trust me. Appreciate we, we love your journey we were big fans of you even me here I'm starstruck yeah. I know you're saying <laughs> yeah, everyone's bro. just people but <laughs> yeah yeah like, bro you were doing your thing when you nah. were coming through I was thinking yeah, nah, this guy was, can be whatever he wants yeah, to be it was kind good of times thing. man it was good times no. sometimes so yeah we're going to leave it there a bit of a long one but listen we love this platform we love the stories that we're putting out there follow the youtube subscribe leave a comment turn on the notifications over and out peace